It's time for the A&W Restaurant All-American Game of the Week on Richmond's very own WBON-TV Channel 9, the leader in local sports television. Support these great local sponsors who support our community. Now, here's your announcers for the game. Good evening, everyone, and welcome into Madison Central High School for some football action here on a Friday night in Richmond. Michael Watkins here with you, bringing you some WBON-TV Game of the Week, courtesy of A&W All-American Foods and presented by Bishop Small Engine Repair in Richmond. Going solo tonight as my partner Tom Gross is... Uh, out sick this evening, so I'll be on the call for you tonight as Madison Central looks for their first win of the season against a great crossing team that's also struggling coming in one and four, their only win over Henry Clay. So a good chance for this Madison Central football team to stake claim to their first victory tonight. We'll see if they can get it. Gage is going to have our A&W All-American Food spot ready for us here in just a moment as we tell you more about what A&W All-American Foods can do for you. But first, when I look at the uh, broadcast here, our pregame coverage is Citizens Guarantee Bank. CG Bank, now you can check them out online, mycgb.com, or download the MyCGB app. That is Citizens Guarantee Bank with several locations here in Madison and surrounding counties. It's Citizens Guarantee Bank. And tomorrow night, EKU will be playing against... Uh, uh, we take, we'll have their second home game of the year on CG Bank Field. So you can check that out tomorrow as well. But uh, tonight, Madison Central, it is... A big day for them. It's homecoming, a chance to get your first win of the season against another team that's also kind of struggling to put a good year together. We'll see if the Indians can knock down that uh, winless door tonight and get it here at home on Homecoming Friday. Let's hear from our Game of the Week sponsor, A&W All-American Foods on WBON-TV. Now at A&W, the Spicy Papa Burger Combo with Onion Rings. A classic Papa Burger spiced up with jalapeno heat, perfectly paired with a side of Onion Rings and Spicy Papa Dipping Sauce. Get it all up in your mouth, only at A&W. Feeling saucy? Come down to A&W and dip a juicy five-piece hand-breaded chicken tender combo into our new spicy three-pepper fire sauce or our new savory A&W sauce. Dip into A&W and try them today. That's right, back here on the A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week. Madison Central taking on Great Crossing. The Indians 0-5 in the first year under William Blair. And Great Crossing 1-4. Their only win against Henry Clay, who is one of the teams at the bottom of Class 6A, along with Madison Central. But the Indians struggling offensively. That's really where they have <laughs> done uh, their, their least this year. Defense has always been good. Now, there have been times, you know, we saw Scott County, we saw Lexington Catholic where the opposing team has put up big numbers. But when you can't get anything going on offense, it really does deplete any kind of momentum or any type of uh, game plan that your, that your defense has because they're, they're playing behind the sticks on uh, that side of the ball. When the other team's got good field position, that can really be an issue, and we've seen that at times this year with the Madison Central Indians defense. Here on the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show with Citizens Guarantee Bank, your accounts are as close as your phone. Bank anywhere 24-7. Check your balance, deposit checks whenever you want. Transfer funds and more with the MyCGB app. Visit MyCGB.com to learn more. Tonight's game here live on WBON-TV. We are streaming on WBON-TV's Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Roku tonight and, of course, live over the air on Channel 9.1. And if you've got Spectrum Cable here in Madison County, uh, Channel 712 is where you can find us at. We appreciate you tuning us in, folks. Step aside for our first commercial break here in the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show. Indians and the Warhawks tonight. Who will get a much-needed victory? We'll dive into this matchup even deeper when we come back here on WBON-TV9 and on WEKY. I'm Michelle. 
And I'm Jennifer, and in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see ya. Hi there, I'm Alan Feldhouse Jr., head basketball coach at Madison Central High School. Here at MCHS, we have built a winning team. I'd like to tell you about another local winning team, family-owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. They specialize in roofing, general construction, and home maintenance services. Just like on the court, you need a team that will work together to get the job done, and that's exactly what BRC does. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. Roll Tribe. Whether you're looking for dependability in the game or on the road, Madison County is where you'll find it. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond has the trucks you can depend on and a winning tradition just like our great local sports teams. Come see us at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond or check us out at jackburford.com to see our dependable trucks and become a part of the winning tradition. So, you want a checking that pays you a high rate on your balance? Yeah, of course you do. Can you tolerate zero monthly maintenance fees and unlimited ATM withdrawal fee refunds every month you qualify? Thought so. That's what Casasa Cash is all about. Tap into our superpower at CG Bank. Visit CG Bank forward slash cash or give us a call today to learn more. 833-83-MY-CGB. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. Contact institution for details. CG Bank is a member FDIC, equal housing lender. Who makes the best meal in Richmond? Nuevo Vallarta. Friendly service, a place that's good for kids and good for groups. Head to Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Nuevo Vallarta is known for warm hospitality, great prices, great food, and the best fajitas in town. Start with an appetizer, order a la carte, or choose from their huge menu of Mexican favorites for grown-ups and kids. Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. I ever tell you about the time I zipped right past that dang Sasquatch? I don't think so. Yes, sir, I don't know how they ever got away if it wasn't for this brand new side-by-side -side I got at Gateway Sackles. In Mount Sterling? Yes, sir, they set me up with something that left old Sasquatch sneezing in my dust. <laughs> Jimbo! Lord, I hear him coming back now. That ain't no Sasquatch. That's Mama. Get a great deal on Sasquatch eluders today. Gateway Cycles, Mount Sterling. We're back here on WBON-TV in the A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week here on the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show. Glad to have you along here with us, folks. Madison Central 0-5 on the season after a couple of years making it uh, in a deep playoff run. Not the season that these players or these coaches were expecting to have. But when the injuries pile up, then that's when the issue can really be brought to the forefront. We've seen that with how this team has played in the first couple of weeks of the season. You saw, you know, Eli Steele, the quarterback, go down in week one after looking so good throwing the football and running the football for that matter. Then week two, Parker Mullins goes down with another injury, and we step in, we set in K.J. Wells, who last year, or last week, excuse me, looked the best that he has looked at the quarterback position. He looked more comfortable. The uh, offense was kind of geared more to war, you know, some quick passes for him. And even when he took a shot downfield, the ball was on the money. However, the issue last week that times were that his wide receiver just couldn't make the catch for him. KJ would put the ball where it needed to be, where only his guy could catch it or right in his receiver's hands. And like we saw last week, several times the ball would fall to the ground. So tonight, KJ got to keep doing his thing. The wide receivers haul those passes in. Maybe even see if we can go to Oglemore, the tight end, who's been a pretty good player this week. It's what your starters on offense. We'll see K.J. Wells at quarterback, tight end Nate Ogle. we got Bishop, Sword, Gillis, Cowper, and Howard up front for the Indians. And, of course, Bryant Mathis, Reese, and Connor, along with Morrison, your remaining starters offensively for Madison Central tonight. Uh, some injury news as uh, we look at the orthopedic sports and therapy injury report. Tonight, 
Uh, no. Leo Sotelo. Sotelo out with an injury tonight, so Aiden Parker will make his first start of the season. And that injury report, as long with, got some good news today. Elijah Steele, we were talking about him, the quarterback position, had his cast taken off earlier today. So him, along with Sam Farmer, along with Parker Mullins, all expected back in a couple of weeks, right around the time that we'll begin district games. So that is some good news for Madison Central fans. Three very big pieces. And when you look at Steele and Mullins, obviously those are two guys that you had as number one and two on your depth chart at quarterback. But they're also really big defensively. And while Steele, I don't think, can come back and play quarterback, he can go out there and play that safety position where he is so good at. Same thing for Mullins, who is a really good linebacker, a guy that can get in and pressure the quarterback and make some big stops defensively. So... That's one thing that we'll see tonight from Madison Central. Uh, missing those guys, but still a chance to get a big win. Just got to execute the game plan. We know Coach Blair will have these guys ready to come out here and knock off the Warhawks. Again, here live on the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show. Tonight up inside the Gateway Cycles broadcast booth, Gateway Cycles, located in Mount Sterling. When it's time to choose your next ride, visit gatewaycycles.com. Michael Watkins here with you on the call. We will step aside for another quick three-minute commercial break. Lots more to get to here on the pregame show when we come back live here on radio, 192.5 WEKY. And if you're watching, you're watching us tonight on WBON-TV. Trucking companies are looking for qualified licensed drivers. Get your CDL training at Exodus Driver Training located on Richmond Road, connected to Renfro Solution in Berea. Take advantage of their flexible training schedule or get your license in just four weeks. Exodus Driver Training is your way out. Out of the cubicle. Out of staring at the same four walls. Out of that factory job you can't stand. Your way out to an open road of opportunity. Financing available. Visit excdl.com to learn more or like them on Facebook. If it won't go down. Call Mr. Rooter, the best in town. What do I do now? Call Mr. Rooter, the best plumber in town. Mr. Rooter is Central Kentucky's affordable and reliable plumber. Right now, get any drain in your home clean for only $89. Call 859-253-CLOG. That's 859-253-CLOG. So if you've got a problem that won't go down, call Mr. Rooter. He's the best plumber in town. He'll clean any drain in your home for only $89. Now I know who to call. Call Mr. Rooter. Bye-bye, poopy. You've heard the name Chenault Vineyards, but what do you know about it? Chenault Vineyards is a place for the community to enjoy. Central Kentucky's premier event and wedding destination. With five event venues, full-service catering, over 13 varieties of wine, live music entertainment, seasonal food options, weekly-themed Wednesday night out and girls' night out, trivia, murder mystery date nights, and free yoga on the point with beautiful views. Everyone can find something to do at Chenault Vineyards. Want to know more? Follow them on Facebook and Instagram or plan your night out at Chenault vineyards.com it's that time of year when we are day and night driving with our kids all over your car never stops at amco transmissions we make sure to keep you rolling we have the latest technology certified technicians and longest warranty to keep your vehicles running strong we specialize in all foreign and domestic transmissions drive train or just general maintenance did you know at amco the average customer saves eighteen hundred dollars in comparison the to the today, dealer and amco has a longer warranty doctor. come see us at amco up. transmission yeah, for the best service and the cheapest that, prices around double a Hey, Madison County, did you so, know Berea Ace just Hardware is more than just a hardware store? Berea okay. Ace Hardware That's carries the, the top brands saying. like Skag, Echo, but Steel, me today he Spartan, a, a Toro, Bintelli e-bikes, Wolf Brand scooters, Trailmaster go-karts, and Red Cat Racing RC cars. Check us out at BereaAce.com. We sell fun at Berea Ace. This is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. At Oil Drop Mobile Lube, we know that taking care of your vehicle is a top priority, but we also understand that your time is valuable. That means the experts at Oil Drop Mobile Lube will come service your vehicle wherever it is convenient for you. At work, on the job, maybe just at home. You can get other things done while they take care of your vehicle. Call 833-OIL-DROP. That's 833-645-3767. Like Oil Drop Mobile Lube on Facebook. 
We're back here on WBON TV. Michael Watkins and Samantha Burford going to join us here on the pregame show. No Tom, so uh, we get a little bit of a downgrade with Samantha. But uh, <laughs> Samantha, welcome into the pregame show here, Madison yes. Central. Big night homecoming. It's always fun, it right? It is. It is, and it's fun to watch all the young ladies, young men walk past the booth up here. You know, we get they're all dressed up in their heels, and you know, the men are all in their dapper clothing tonight so it's it's a special night for madison central homecoming yeah last week madison southern had their homecoming night clifton scully big golfer for madison Southern, yeah. had him on the sports show monday of course you were out at the beach somewhere on monday I night i wish but... i'd have been at the beach <laughs> i was in florida but not at the beach uh but yeah it was still a fun night uh and, and uh, homecoming there last week homecoming here this week so yeah this uh, is probably one of the first years that they haven't had homecoming on the same night yeah well and that's usually been an issue for yes. us but yeah thankfully we were, be, were able to be at both, both uh this year and get uh, both homecomings on so if you are tuning us in we will have the homecoming festivities for you at halftime of the game this evening of course madison central looking for their first Home win or the first well first win of the first season, win. and you know Samantha, we've we've seen this team uh, all year long, you know do their thing. They have been uh, struggling with injuries and yeah. you know miss execution, not doing what Coach Blair's asked them to do. Last week, you talked to him at halftime. You could tell he was really frustrated with the way his team was playing, and they had a game plan. Yeah, game plan didn't really work. Uh, because the guys weren't in the spots that they needed them to be. And there was a couple of times during that first half where he was tearing into some guys. And I think and tonight, rest, yeah, and, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think at one, at one point in the second half, yeah, Scott County was, there was a couple of like things after, and there was like 15 flags on yeah. Scott County last week. Yeah, right there at the end. And uh, they didn't care. They were up so high. Yeah. But you would think that, they're so well prepared and so well prepared against us and having such a good season that they would not have those type of penalties, Scott County. But now, you know, I just talked to a gentleman over here that's one of the uh, assistant coaches for uh, Great Crossing, and, yeah, I mean, they beat them too. And he said they played them until the very end. Well, here's the thing about Great Crossing. You know, they're a team that – uh, has never played Madison Central in football. It's this first meeting between these two teams. We know in basketball, Great Crossing's kind of had our number in that sport. Yes, uh, you know, a regional tournament win a couple of years ago. And last year, a, another a good win for them as well. But this year, their team is uh, not as good uh, as they've been in the past. In the past now, obviously, yeah. you know. He's just told me they're young. Yes. Yeah, so, and, and some young. of those guys, those older guys, maybe going back to Scott County, we said that first time they came in, it was the new school. Exactly. Of course, they do share the same field in Scott County. So, that's one thing uh, that uh, maybe some play, you know, a lot of times when you get a new school, you get new facilities and things like that. But if you're sharing the field, sharing the stadium, then really there's no benefit to going from one school to the other. But Scott County, we saw last week, they are back on top. They are one of the toughest teams in Class 5A, Great Crossing, trying to get there. But I think this is maybe the best chance for this Madison Central team to get that first win. Now, on your home field, it's homecoming night, so these guys are going to come out fired up. They yeah. want to play well on homecoming. Big crowd so far. Look yeah, at it. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, it, it's a chance to really put on a good show. We know about the concerns with the injuries still, but – they're, this is probably their best chance, maybe their last best chance, unless these guys do come back, to get a big win here on the season. And you're saying that because of Frederick Douglass. Well, you got on Douglass. Yeah. Brian Station's a really good team yes. in Classic. So you got Pulaski County yes. on the road next Always week. spectacular. GRC. So there's four games following tonight, and they're that not going to be, be easy tough. games. Yeah. So super tough. Got to see if you can come out tonight and get a win on your home field. And maybe that can kind of springboard some momentum. Right. Kind of shake off the cobwebs of being well, in the wind column and move this season forward. And I've heard a rumor, too, that they've changed up their offense again this week. Well, what that shows me is that Coach Blair and this coaching staff are doing whatever they can to right the ship. Right. Like, they're not just sitting back and doing what they've been doing. If they've got something that they see might work, and maybe it's even game plan specific. Maybe against Scott right. County, you want to run the ball more. Maybe against Great Cross, and you want to throw the ball more. Right. We'll see what happens here tonight. We are live. Well, that's going to shock everybody because with, you know, K.J. Wells as a quarterback, yeah. they're not used to him throwing the ball quite a bit. You know, he's more of the running game. So if that happens tonight, you know, I think, you know, maybe Great Crossing will be a little shocked if they throw the ball more. Now, we talked in the sports show not too long ago how – 
KJ is getting better and better yeah. every last game. Last week, he looked really good throwing yes. the ball. Now, again, if the wide receivers were kind of the issue last week in dropping the ball, yes. we'll see if that's the case or not. We'll step aside for one more commercial break here, folks, live on the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show. It's the A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week on WBON-TV. It's the common thread that ties us together, making life better for everyone. At CVNB, that means better banking, better accounts and lending, better experiences, better schools and better communities. Better. It's what ties us together. CVNB. Bank better. marble and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Support local and get your vehicle running at its peak performance with CT Diesel Performance South Exit 97 in Richmond. Chris Thorne and his staff specialize in diesel performance and repair that will service any vehicle, big or small, with oil changes, brakes, tires, alignments, and more. Broke down and need a tow? Well, call CT Diesel at 859-699-8712. Like them on Facebook to enter a weekly drawing for a free oil change. CT Diesel Performance off Exit 97 in Richmond. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, we value our patient relationships, making it our priority to deliver the gentle, compassionate care that you deserve from a dentist. We offer patients single-visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with Cerac. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs, from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment and for more details on lip filler and disport specials, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-0. To some, it's just a boat. But to Jim, it's his escape from meetings, traffic, and the grind of daily life. He may not catch any keepers, but he wouldn't trade his day on the lake for anything in the world. That's why his boat is insured by Kentucky Farm Bureau. But it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. It's Jim's Recharge the Battery Farm Bureau. My Farm Bureau. David Mayo, John Rader, and Chris Hornsby with Kentucky Farm Bureau. We're back on WBON TV for the A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week. Michael Watkins here with Samantha Burford on the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show. Samantha, right now it's 76 degrees. I mean, we've seen it over the last two or three weeks. We have had some incredible football weather. But that football weather can also put a wear and tear on your heating and cooling system. You, you want to crank up the... Uh, the heat maybe in the morning, get it a little warm for you when it's cold outside. And then, of course, we you know, get closer to the, the afternoon, and then you turn your AC back on. And that can really put a wear and tear on your heating and cooling system. Don't get caught in the heat or in the cold. Take advantage now of a new HVAC install free for up to, oh, excuse me, a new HVAC install for up to 48 months interest-free. Call 859-233-0424 or schedule online at FayetteHeating.com. That's Fayette Heating and Air. Our, our uh, game time temperature, 76 degrees here in downtown Richmond. And, I mean, not a not a, a dangerous cloud in the sky, just a perfect night for yeah. some high school football under the Friday night lights. And I think it's only supposed to get to 73 while this game's going on. So, you know, it'll be comfortable for us, still warm for the players. Yeah. 
Really good night here in Richmond. And, of course, Madison Southern taking on Mercer County in their game. That game streaming live on audio only on 106.7 The Pinnacle. And you can listen to it live on uh, 106.7 The Pinnacle and WBON TV audio only stream on our Facebook page. Let's look at the keys to the game tonight. Brought to you by Jack Burford Chevrolet. Get the keys to your next ride at Jack Burford Chevrolet on the Eastern Bypass in Richmond. Visit jackburford.com to see the entire inventory at Jack Burford Chevrolet. Tonight, I think for Madison Central, there's two keys to this football game. One, we have got to get off to a much better start. That's really been the issue every game this year. Even when you look back against Johnson Central, when uh, you know, we had Elijah Steele still as the starting quarterback, got down by two touchdowns early. So it, even in, in the games where they've been close, they haven't gotten off to good starts. Against Madison Southern, they were down 18 to nothing. It's always that first half. They have got to come out, yes. get off to a better start. Now, I'm not saying you have to score on your opening drive. I am. Well, I mean, that would be <laughs> like nice. That. that would be nice. I'm just saying it because I'm really rooting yeah, for it. Yeah, we got to have I, some I'm points. I'm hoping we get the first touchdown. We I feel like every game we're getting the second yeah. touchdown yeah. or that third touchdown. Yeah, or you know? the, the sixth or seventh sixth. touchdown. Right, until yeah. the second half. So it's been a, a rough season for the offense. But tonight, again, K.J. Wells looked really good last week, I think. He's starting to settle in, getting some more experience at that quarterback position. And I think KJ will come out, play good tonight. We'll see if he can get the offense rolling. That's one of the big keys. Off to a good start. The second thing is the defense has got to, I think, make a big play. We've seen at times in especially the last two years under Mike Holcomb, when Coach Player was the defensive coordinator. There was always these big plays on defense. I remember when uh, Jeffrey Kenley got the uh, the field goal block late in the game against Pikeville to secure a win. We've seen Leo Sotelo block a punt. Uh, Brock Eads block a punt. Big returns in the return game. Things like that from the defense have really sparked them the last couple of years. We haven't seen that in these first five games. So, I think a big play from the defense, a turnover, something to kind of swing some momentum the other way, another key for the game tonight. We'll see if either one of those or both of those happen, and I think Madison Central will get their first win of the season and the first win under Coach Blair as the head coach of this football program. You know he's got to be he's got to be so ready. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, what, game six, and he hasn't won a game yet. It's you wonder about the team and the mentality of it. Like you hope that their spirits are high. They've tr they're going to try some new things tonight. Your quarterback's getting better. You got a big crowd, different uniforms tonight. I love it. It's homecoming. What else could we ask for? Yeah. I don't know if we could. I know they even practiced this morning, so I know that they're prepared. They just got to get out to that good start. Well, that's the thing. I mean, they're not like saying, "Okay, we're zero and five. The season's over with." They're preparing as if they are in. A, a tight race and, and that they are a team that can be a force to be reckoned with. That's still how they're preparing every single game. And they've got the talent to do that. They just haven't put it all together yet this year. We'll see if they can correct the ship. Tonight's captains, Hayden Kaiser out there along with Aiden Howard. Uh, number seven, that is our guy, K.J. Wells. And number 62, Iari Gillis, the four captains for the game tonight. That is who we'll see out there for the Madison Central Indians. And uh, Samantha, these guys, I think, again, the offensive line's got to protect better. KJ, at time, that's one thing holes. we've seen. They, and, and that, too. They have not <laughs> played to their potential. That was right. one thing we heard about all preseason. The offensive line going to be so good this year. They're big. They're fast. We haven't really seen them play the type of game that I think Coach Blair and everybody else thought that they would play throughout the season as well. So tonight, maybe it's time to wrap this. Let's get all the stuff fixed. Offensive line play, quarterback play, wide right. receivers, the defense. Let's get it all fixed tonight. Let's get a win, and let's head to the second half of the season with some momentum as we get closer and closer to those big district games here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we got to make this new field look like they've played on it and played hard and bring out that big W tonight. Madison Central and Great Crossing here on the Citizens Guarantee Bank pregame show. Now let's take a look at our Star Watch tonight. Star Watch is brought to you by Jerry Goble, State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, just like Aiden Howard has been for the Madison Central Indians. Howard, the big offensive tackle for uh, Coach Blair in this offense. 
Uh, again, at times, the offensive line has struggled, but we know Howard, and we've seen him so many times this year. You'll see a play end, and eight yards downfield, Howard is still pushing, still pushing a defensive player. Like in the blind side. Exactly. That's exactly what you kind of uh, player Aiden Howard is, a dominant force out there. And, and lots of experience he's got. And he's going to Miami of Ohio next yeah. year. So a young man that's got a bright future ahead of him, and he is our star watch for tonight. Brought to you by Jerry Goble, State Farm Insurance, like Jerry Goble. State Farm Insurance on Facebook to learn more about the insurance you may not have even knew that you needed. Kickoff is right around the corner. Let's take a one-minute commercial break, Gage. We'll come back and get you set for the kickoff, courtesy of Galaxy Bowling Center here on WBON-TV. BKY. Looking for some fun? The Galaxy Bowling Center has a league for you. No matter your skill level, you can come out, make some new friends, and have a great time. Call 624-4444 for details. Or if you're more of a trivia person, Champions Grill has you covered every Tuesday starting at 7 with great prizes and all-you-can-eat wings for only $19.99. Why go anywhere else? The Galaxy Bowling Center and Champions Grill. Your ticket to fun just off I-75, exit 87 in Richmond. Orthopedic and Sport Physical Therapy will help guide you on your road to recovery. It is our mindset, a spirit driven to excellence, to help people heal faster and better. If you have pain or an injury or you need experts in sports medicine, Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy is your best choice in rehabilitation and you have direct access. In most cases, you do not need a referral to any of our seven locations serving the region. Just give OSPTKY a call. Visit our website at OSPTKY.com to find the location nearest you. White letters outlined in the royal blue and great crossing in the white with the navy pants, navy numbers and letters outlined in the uh, kind of dark green color for the Warhawks. Indians will kick. Great crossing will receive the opening kickoff courtesy of. So Gilbo will kick it away, and we are underway. The Friday Night Lights in Richmond here on WBON-TV, and a nice kickoff. Gilbo will not allow the Warhawks to return the opening kickoff, and we'll get a first look at the defense. Special thanks to many of our great sponsors tonight, folks. The A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week. And the Indians defense out there tonight with Morrison at free safety, our corners. Jalen Beard and Bryant Mathis. Strong safety is Jackson Taylor. Aiden Parker getting his first start at the linebacker position along with Hayden Kaiser and Derek McElwee. Moose McElwee for Madison Central as Warhawks handed off up to the 25-yard line. A gain of five for the ball carrier. That's number 12 on the carry for Great Crossing. Zach Morris, one of my favorite, uh, say by the Bill ca uh, characters there, Zach Morris. Showing my age a bit, Gage. <laughs> Second and five for the Warhawks, man in motion. And man, a hard hit at the line of scrimmage as Tavion Kirby, the starting defensive tackle, along with J.R. Green. Our defensive ends, Kendrick Williams and Austin Tremblay up front for Madison Central. That time, Kirby laying the hit stick to the running back of Great Crossing, bringing up a third down and four. Oh, Warhawks need to get it across the 30 for a first down. Oh, on the run, on the end around, and a big hole. For the Warhawks, still on his feet, spinning away from a tackler, and finally hit from behind 
by big number 58, Kendrick Williams. That's Isaiah Johnson on the carry. And Johnson takes it into Madison Central Territory. Another big run allowed by this Indian defense. And Johnson, the leading ball carrier for Great Crossing, picks up a gain of about 40 yards on his first carry tonight. It's first and 10 from the Indians' 37-yard line. Quarterback up under center in the wing T formation. Man in motion. He'll give it to the fullback and a gain of about three. Tackle made by Kirby, second and four. Yeah. Make it second and six, sorry. Got Clark up under center, man in motion again, and they're going to play the option. Oh, a nice hit, but a big pickup once again for the Warhawks, as this time it's Jacob Johnson taking it near side off the pitch out from the quarterback. Might have missed a... Holding call on this near side. No flag, but the official is blowing it dead at the moment. Bryant Mathis, a little bit of equipment issue. They'll get him situated, and we'll see what the White Hat has to say as he comes our way. It is a hold against the Warhawks. Okay. I don't see the flag on the field, but the hold that I thought they missed was actually called. And they'll mark off the penalty in second and seven. Well, there it is. It was on the near side. The Indians head coach, uh, William Blair, was blocking the flag, but we'll take it. Back it up to the 42 of the Indians now. It'll be second and 15. Yeah, I was going to say it's like Johnson in motion. They give it the first man this. through again. Central like might have gotten away with a face I. mask there. Uh, spinning away Zach Morris from a tackler, getting it back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just heard head and breathing. <laughs> Back in the wishbone, third and 10. Oh, man, Indians got a great jump there. A huge hit in the backfield. And that is the kind of play we were looking for defensively. One of our keys to the game was a big play on this side of the field. Hayden Kaiser off the linebacker blitz comes in and makes a big stop on the end around. Fourth down and 20. And Great Crossing will punt it away as Jeremiah Clark Drops back to his own 40-yard line, and Cody Morrison will go back to return it for the Indians. Clark, plenty of time, lets it fly. Good punt. And Morrison will not have a chance at a return, and this is going to pin the Indians back deep at their own five-yard line. So a long way to go for Madison Central. But check one off the box. One of the keys to the game tonight was a big play defensively. We got that on that opening drive for the Warhawks. Now we'll see if Madison Central can turn that into some offense here. As they'll have it first and 10 at their own five-yard line. And we'll get a look at our head, uh, our, our quarterback, excuse me, K.J. Wells, coming out to lead the offense. Last week, K.J. looked the best he's looked since taking over the starting role at the quarterback position looked more comfortable throwing the football, was on the money on all of his throws. Wide receiver just didn't make any plays for him tonight. He'll hand it off on the first play, and I think the ball came out. We'll see if – nope, ball did not come out. Just getting tackling there by Greg Crossing after a pickup of only a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Central trying to get out of the shadow of their own goal post here. <laughs> Last week, Wells throwing the football. He had a lot of chances. Uh, wide receivers just 
could not haul the catches in. There were several passes down the sideline where he was connecting with his guys, putting it in the right spot. They just were not making the catch. Here on second down, they hand it off, and up to the 10-yard line is Davion DeBruce, who picks up four, bringing up a third down and five. See if we go past here on third and down. Third down and a long five, short six yards. After the stop, great crossing playing the field position game. First down here for Central would be huge. Morrison on the near side with Pritchard. Send Ogle out in the flat, and they'll throw a screen pass caught by Pritchard, and he is tackled immediately at the 10 for no gain. Great read by the great crossing defense. Ogle came out in the flat not to catch the pass, but to set a block for Pritchard. Both Morrison and Ogle made their blocks, but a safety came in quickly to bring down Pritchard after the catch. It's fourth and six, and Madison Central will punt it away. Gilbo in his own end zone as we cross over halfway through the opening period. It's the punt away, high end over end punt. That's filled it at the 40-yard line. Good return and great field position for great crossing as they will come out and begin this drive at the Madison Central 33-yard line. So first down and 10 from the 33 of the Indians. Ball right smack dab in the middle of the field here back in the wishbone formation are the Warhawks. Johnson in motion. They give it to the fullback up the middle. He'll get it to the 30-yard line, so a gain of three. Second down and seven. Stop made by Kirby and J.R. Green, who's been a big piece up front. Indians going with a 4-4 defense where you got four down linemen and three linebackers and a safety playing in a rover type role. Second down and seven. Again, they go back up the middle. And again, it's green along with Kendrick Williams in on the stop. Third down and two coming up now for the Warhawks of Great Crossing. Indians need a stop. All right back up the middle. It's Morris again. He needed two, and he got three for a first down. That'll move the sticks. There is a flag on the play and a false start against Great Crossing. That's a big penalty against the Warhawks as a third down and two conversion. Turns into now a third and six. Make it a third and seven. Back to the 31-yard line of Madison Central and needing to get to the 23 for a first down. Clark will go up under center. Johnson. Is the deep back. He'll take off in motion. They won't get it. Only a yard picked up, maybe two. They do get it across the 30 and down to the 29-yard line. So fourth down and a long four, maybe five yards, basically, for great crossing. And a team that doesn't like to pass the football on fourth down. We'll see what they do here. Jeremiah Clark. 59 pass attempts through five games, 240 yards, only 48 yards passing per game. 
We'll see if they put one in the air here on fourth down and five. Clark goes up under center in the wishbone. And a timeout called by the Warhawks. Timeout, so we will take it with them. Indians and Great Crossing in a scoreless game thus far with 3.51 left to play in the first quarter on WBON-TV. Did you know Markham and Wallace Hospital offers speech therapy for both adults and pediatrics? Why travel north when you can get the care you need right here in Irvine? Adult speech therapy focuses on the assessment and treatment of speech, language, thinking, and swallowing problems. Pediatric speech helps children communicate effectively by assisting with the improvement of their verbal and nonverbal language skills. For more info about the speech therapy department, call 606-723-8235 at Mercy Health Markham and Wallace Hospital. For over 40 years, Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory in Berea have been helping families through the hardest times in their lives. With traditional burial planning to cremation, the folks at Lakes can help you honor your loved ones with final arrangements. Lakes can also help pre-plan now. Let your family members know what you want and help ease their burden. Visit lakesfuneralhome.com to learn how easy it can be to pre-plan. Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory, the only on-site crematory in Madison County. Fourth down and five for Great Crossing as we come out of a Mr. Reuter timeout. The Warhawks will have Clark up under center and now a more, nope, oh, still the wishbone. Johnson has been on the near side for much of this first two drives for Great Crossing, now lined up as the running back. They'll fake it to him. The quarterback, Clark, pitches it out and the Indians sniff it out and a big play made. Bryant this near side of the 33-yard line will bring down Jacob Johnson. And the Indians get a big turnover on downs. The football back in the red, white, and blue as we take over at our own 33-yard line and a very nice stop defensively. Indians read the option play to perfection and a great call there by Coach Player in this defense as it's first down and 10. Now, Indians going left to right. If you're listening to us on 92.5 WEKY, Wells in the pistol. Tell back behind him, Bryant Mathis. They'll run a man on late and a tight end. They'll go to the left side of the formation. They'll give it to Bryant and nowhere for Mathis to go as immediately he is brought down for a loss of a yard. Offensive line. No hole there for Mathis to run to or run through. Second down and 11. Wells gets the play call in from Coach Mattingly. It'll be second down and long for the Madison Central offense. Ball near the right hash mark as we might get our first KJ Wells pass of the evening. 3.05 left to play in the first quarter. Wells, nope, fakes it, or does give it off to Mathis. And Bryant this time able to gain positive yardage across the 35 up to the 38-yard line. Third down and five, following a gain of six from Mathis. Nice tackle made there by the Warhawks. Number 21 on the stop, that was... Rylan Dukes, or Rylan Dykes, excuse me. Third down and five. Trips out there for Wells. A.J. going to throw. Pressured, throws, and it's incomplete. Ball batted down at the line of scrimmage as coming in Daniel Korn. Keeps the corn on the cob for Great Crossing and knocks the ball down. Tom would have laughed at that if he was here. I know, Samantha. Samantha was laughing. <laughs> 2.21 left to play. Gage, is that a half moon up there tonight? Is it? Okay. Gilbo back to punt. Oh, they fake it. Central will fake the punt. And Mathis going to be close to the first down. That was actually not Bryant. That was number 12. That's uh, Derek McElwee on the fake punt. He was a yard short. 
And Great Crossing will take over on the turnover on downs. But I like the aggressiveness by Coach Blair going for it there on the fake punt. And now the White Hat wants to call a timeout and talk it over here. We'll see what the issue is. I believe we might get a measurement here. Madison Central was calling for a measurement. And now we'll bring the chains all the way across the field and see if we have got a first down or not. Chain game working hard, getting their steps in here. I think they had to borrow Dawson's gold chain to extend it out there long enough. So it is short, so it's still a turnover on downs. I think Central knew that, but hey, let's take a chance here. You never know what might happen. Well, I can't remember. I think it was a game, South Carolina and Michigan, what, seven, eight years ago, where the measurement happened, and somehow it was short, but... The officials gave Michigan a first down, and the very next play, a big play happened defensively to Javion Clowney. If you remember that play, if you're a football fan, you might recall what I'm talking about there. But we go back the other way now. Great crossing with the football once again, beginning a drive in Indians territory. They'll pitch it out to Johnson. That's Jacob. He is going the wrong way. Pushed back onto the great crossing side of the field. Forward progress, though, might give him... No, they are going to mark him back in Great Crossing territory. Wow, a big stop there as they have it first and 10 at the 42 of the Indians. Now second down and 18 from the Great Crossing 49-yard line. Defense looking good tonight, Samantha. That was one of our keys to the game. Nice job there to... Push him back, and a team that likes to run the football has a second down and long. Clark pressure. He's going to throw. Got a man. Mathis is there, and that is incomplete. Bryant Mathis, I think, upset with himself that he did not pick that off. But Mathis in the right position to knock it down. No completion. Third down and 18 coming up for Great Crossing. That was the first pass of the game for Clark, and he just... Reared back and chucked it downfield. Mathis in the right spot. Perfect protection on that one. It's third down and 18. Aiden Tremblay going to run onto the field along with another corner as Central expecting pass here on third and 18. Great crossing and said, hands up, ball poked out. Clark going backward. He will dive on it back at the 36-yard line, but again pushed or knocked out. And here comes a flag on Madison Central. A flag after the play as a shove comes from Jalen Beard. And... Yeah, Coach Blair extremely oh, upset with Beard. As that penalty will reward Great Crossing here, we'll get the official signal. There it is, personal foul penalty against the Indians. It's always the second guy that get, gets caught. That's why when I played basketball, Gage, I always made sure that I was the first guy and not the second guy because that's the guy that always got in trouble. So after... The play, it is a penalty against Madison Central. All that does is take away a lot of the yardage. It should still be fourth down. It is fourth down. But what would have been fourth and 25 now turns into a fourth and 15. Greg Crossing will still punt, but the Indians lose valuable field position there. As they send Cody Morrison back to return it. Nice punt once again. Morrison will call for the fair catch and make it at the 11-yard line. It has been a battle of field position thus far with 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Each team has had two drives. 
Stretch that. Greg Crossing's had three drives. Madison Central, two. Really no offense to show either way. AJ Wells talking to the offensive coordinator. Coach Mattingly will send in the play with his senior quarterback. Madison Central 0-5 for the first time since 2009. It was a long time ago that this team started off as bad as they have this year. Still plenty of time to right the ship, but a win here tonight would be a step in the right direction. Hand off to Bruce, running far side. Davion, not much there. Gains a yard. Yeah, Samantha pointing out crowd still piling in. And that will wrap up the first quarter. A scoreless first quarter in Richmond. Madison Central will flip sides of the field when we come back. A second down and eight for the Indians. Don't go anywhere, folks. You're listening to us live here on WEKY and watching on WBON-TV. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Jerry Goble in Richmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For years, Richmond residents have been searching for a heating and air company that can do it all. That search is now over. Don't let the name fool you. Fayette Heating and Air serves all over Central Kentucky for both commercial and residential customers. With Fayette Heating and Air, they promise that no matter the issue, no matter the time, you can expect award-winning heating repairs the first time, every time. Visit FayetteHeating.com to learn about special financing and how to sign up for the Comfy Club. With Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solutions. Coming back out of the timeout, second quarter about to begin in Richmond with the Indians on the move, second down and eight. A.J. Wells hands it off up the middle, falling forward, Bryant Mathis. It was actually Sean Reese, the fullback, taking the handoff there. Reese falling forward, setting up a third down and short, third and four. Under 12 minutes to play, just underway here in the second quarter. First half winding down in Richmond. Thank you for joining us here. Whether you're listening on WEKY or watching on WBON TV, Michael Watkins on the call for you tonight. No Tom Gross. Tom calling in sick tonight as we've got a flag and a sideline warning, I believe, against Madison Central. Somebody in the ear of the official down there on the sideline. Till third and four. Wells sends Pritchard in motion left to right. AJ going to throw. Got a man open out in the flat. It's caught. Oh, it's not caught. Reese wide open for a easy first down. And he dropped it. Story of the season for K.J. Wells, the Madison Central quarterback, puts one right in the hands of a receiver, and they can't haul it in. It's fourth down, and the Indians will have to punt. So Gilbo back to punt for the third time tonight. Indians offense still stagnant. Good low punt that takes a big Madison Central bounce. And it'll 
die at the 34-yard line. It'll take a seat there, and here come the Indians' defense back. Yeah, they've been playing well tonight. Got to keep it up. Got to keep doing the right things. And Coach Blair still in the ear of one of these officials. Warhawks will come out first and 10 on their own 34 yard line. Ball on the right hash mark. Coach Blair <laughs> telling everybody to get back here. He does not want another penalty against his team. That's unwarranted. First down. As Clark goes up under center. Central's defense been playing well tonight. 10 57 left here in the second quarter. Kaiser showing blitz up the middle. He'll back it up. Going back to his um, middle linebacker position. I don't know. And off up the middle. The defense is there. Football, a minimal so gain. Falling forward for two yards. I'm going to say quarterback. Johnson. Um, Isaiah Johnson, the just senior tailback. Hitting ball carrier for great crossing. Leading them in carries, touchdowns, and yards on the season. <laughs> He cut me off. Cause I'm Second a down and eight. <laughs> Ball at the 44-yard line. But I said... Lawson goes up under center. I said I don't know a lot about football, but my ego leads me to again, say quarterback. Carrying it forward and falling you know, forward maybe for linebacker a for my first size. down to the 44-yard um, line. But, you know, it's a toss-up. So moving the sticks for a first down. <laughs> mm -mm. Dawson, what'd you say you would be? And off up the middle. And another big hole created by the offensive line for great crossing. A big carry for Zach Moritz. And he gets it all the way down to the Madison Central 32-yard line. First down and 10. Man in motion as Wilson breaks loose. Nobody to beat, and he will waltz into the end zone. 33 yards out. Into the end zone for a touchdown, and Great Crossing will strike first. Warhawks on the board, 6-0 after the Morris 32-yard touchdown run. Extra point is good, and Great Crossing leads 7-0. Indians will get the ball back when we come back down by 7 on WEKY and WBON-TV. Whitaker Bank in Madison County is your local bank for convenience. With more branches than literally any other bank in Madison County, why go anywhere else? Whitaker Bank is known for their friendly customer service and easy access drive throughs Whitaker Bank, your home for local, friendly, family, banking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. I'm Michelle, and I'm Jennifer, and in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcake Deck, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see ya. So, 7 nothing lead for Great Crossing. And the Indians 
On the return by Morrison. See if we can set up some good field position here. Cody oh, stood up at the 24-yard line, hit hard by Warhawk defender. So the offense take over at their own 25-yard line. Pritchard near side. On the far side is Morrison. Wells in the pistol with two guys to his right side. Now Ogle moves in motion to the left side. High snap. Hand off to Bruce. Davion finds a hole. And to Bruce will have a big carry, but it might be negated by a penalty as a flag comes in back at the 32-yard line. Penalty against Madison Central. Now back it up, back to the 21-yard line. So it's first and 15, following the holding penalty against the Indians. Wells, going to go back to DeBruce, now getting the biggest play of the night for the Madison Central offense. So get it back down to the original line of scrimmage so bring up a second down and 10. my guy jt elliott trying to get jt to come and uh, hop on the broadcast with me tonight after tom uh, had uh, given me the rain check uh jt could not make it out but he did hop in with our trivia question and i like this one that jt delivered to us great crossing is in its fifth football season how many total games have they won coming into tonight's game I'll give you the answer here in just a few moments. The Warhawks, again, kind of a new school up there in Scott County. Wells to throw. Drops it off out in the flat. And Mathis is hit hard and drops the football. Man, oh, man. What a hard hit delivered. Let's check that one out on the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Replay. Wells was looking near sideline like he was going to go deep. Drops it off in the flat. The screen read perfectly. And a big hit there to knock that one free by the Warhawks, third and 10. Two receivers right, one near side, Wells. Gonna throw on third and 10, rolling out to his right. Oh, he's going deep and Overshooting Pritchard just a tad. A little too much oomph on it for the senior quarterback on that throw. Fourth down, and the Indians punt unit will once again make their way back out onto the field. Yobo gets the punt away. Nice. High end over end. Strong punt, but a good return for a great crossing. Johnson near sideline. Still on his feet. Pushed out by McElwee. Oh. Well, pushing after the play. No flags thrown. And man, the Warhawks again with excellent field position. This is the third time tonight that they have started a drive in Madison Central Territory.
First down for Clark up under center. Handed off to Johnson up or they faked it to Johnson and Clark actually kept it himself on the read pass option. More of just a fake handoff. Not much RPO with the pass being an option for great crossing. Gain of about two. Second down and eight for the Warhawks. They're going left to right here. If you're listening to us live on WEKY, Michael Watkins here with you tonight. Glad to have you along. Coach Chapman bringing in a new corner. It's Pritchard. Jackson coming on the near side as Clark will hand it off to Johnson up the middle. Yari Gillis trying to rip it free. I think Gillis strong enough to rip it away from Johnson, but teammates came in to said it was Gillis. That was actually J.R. Green. I think Green was strong enough to rip it away from Johnson, but his teammates came in and made the tackle in the process. And that allowed Johnson to fall down, keep possession, and move the sticks for the Warhawks. First and 10 now at the 28-yard line. Nose of the football on the Indians 28 here on the right hash mark. Ray Crossing has now found a sweet spot in the Indians' defense. They'll fake it to Johnson here. Clark with everybody coming after him. Will lose about half a yard back to the 29-yard line and bring up a second down and long. We cross over the six-minute mark here in the second quarter. Clark will take the snap. Gives it to, I think that's Morris, who scored the touchdown on the last drive. He'll gain positive yardage back to the 28-yard line, looks like. Third and long. Great crossing in four down territory here. Might see them go to the air, although if they gain three or four yards here, would make it a much more manageable fourth down. Indians needing a stop here. Try to keep this game within striking distance. We near five minutes to play in the first half. Clark will go back up under center. Running near side, Johnson, the leading ball carrier. Tremblay stopped him and made him change direction and allowed big number 55, the defensive tackle, Jaden Markham, to come in from behind and make the stop at the 25-yard line. It is fourth down, and it's like the Warhawks going to send the field goal unit out onto the field for about a 37-yard field goal. Make that a 43-yarder. So a 43-yard field goal attempt coming for Great Crossing, and it is going to make its way through the uprights inside the left goal post. And three more points tacked on by Great Crossing after the field goal by the Warhawks. 10 nothing, 418 left to play. Indians will receive when we come back live on WBON TV. Hi there, I'm Alan Feldhouse Jr., head basketball coach at Madison Central High School. Here at MCHS, we have built a winning team. I'd like to tell you about another local winning team, family-owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. They specialize in roofing, general construction, and home maintenance services. Just like on the court, you need a team that will work together to get the job done, and that's exactly what BRC does. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. Roll Tribe. Whether you're looking for dependability in the game or on the road, Madison County is where you'll find it. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond has the trucks you can depend on and a winning tradition just like our great local sports teams.
come see us at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond or check us out at jackburford.com to see our dependable trucks and become a part of the winning tradition. We're back here on WBON TV. Michael Watkins here with you on the call on a Friday night. Our A&W All American Foods Game of the Week. Don't forget, coming up here at the half, we will have the halftime festivities and the homecoming ceremony. Bart Nichols, the PA announcer here at Madison Central, will take over the mic on WBON TV, and we'll find out who our king and queen are tonight. Central now with a little wishbone themselves as Reese takes the handoff and gets it across the 30 up to the 32-yard line for a pickup of a couple of yards, second down and eight as we nail dip under four minutes to play in the first half. Indians need the 40 for a first down. Wells. Hands it off. Reese, man, running right into a wall of defenders. It'll be third and eight. No gain on the carry by Reese. Don't forget to stick around for the Oil Drop Mobile Lube halftime show. That's where we'll have the homecoming festivities for you. Wells up under center again. Pritchard in motion right to left. They'll fake the pitch out. KJ going to throw it out, and it's incomplete. Looking at Mathis on the wheel route following the fake pitch, and that pass deflected out of bounds. So fourth down, and Gilbo will once again punt it back to Great Crossing. Nice. Another nice punt, man. Gilbo has had a much better night getting rid of the football. Morris will return it to the 41-yard line, and the Warhawks will take over there with once again good field position. And great crossing already on top, seven to nothing. Indians will try to get a stop here. They will receive the second half kickoff. Or 10 nothing. Thank you, Samantha. Can always count on a woman to tell me when I'm wrong, especially you. <laughs> You're welcome. 242 left to play here in the first half. Need to get to the 49 of the Indians to get a first down across midfield. Clark. We'll go up under center on the wishbone. Hand off to Johnson, and he'll get a yard, and that's it on the first down carry. Second and nine coming up. Robinson and Williams. Kendrick Williams in on the stop. Man, Kendrick's been a, a force this year coming off the edge in that defensive end spot. Second down and nine for the Warhawks as they try to just tick this clock down here in the first half and take a two-score lead into the locker room. Man in motion. And Clark, man, he took a shot from McElwee. And then the handoff went to Johnson. He was hit immediately, and it's third and long. Third down as Morrison trots back out onto the field defensively. Central going to go with more of a passing defense here, bring an extra corner on the field. For a passing down third and long, a minute 30 left to play in the second quarter. Play clock ticking down, 10 seconds on the play clock as Great Crossing breaks the huddle. Third down. 
Clark to throw, pressured. Morrison's got a hold of him. He'll bring him down for a big sack back at the 35-yard line. Let's check out the replay here on the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Replay. Morrison comes in from the cornerback spot. He grabs Clark by the arm. They do a do-si-do, -do, and down goes Clark for the quarterback sack. And another punt coming from Great Crossing with 50 seconds left to play here in the first half. Central won't call a timeout. We'll let the clock run down here and see if Morrison can set something up with a return. Warhawks will be glad to let this clock tick down here. Indians bring some pressure. Morrison calls for the fair catch back at his own 30. And the Indians offense will have 28 seconds to work with here. So ball at the 30-yard line on the right hash mark. Two receivers left for Wells, one to the right side. A.J. takes the snap. What a throw. He's got a man open, and that pass caught by Pritchard. Payton past the defense and dragged down at the 32-yard line. Timeout, Madison Central, as they stop the clock with 19 seconds to go. Check it out here on the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Replay. First time tonight, KJ's had time to drop back and let a receiver get open, and you see what he can do with the football. Peyton Pritchard, a, or make that a Jackson Pritchard, on a nice catch and yards after the carry, taking that thing to the 32-yard line. Central now in business here. First and 10 inside Great Crossing Territory may have a chance to put some points on the board here late, and now I'm probably wishing they had called a timeout to stop the clock there. Still two timeouts left, so still plenty of time to work with, but another 10, 15 seconds would be nice to have on the back end. You know, Cody Morrison in that first game was the go-to guy for Eliza Steele. They'll come out here on the near side. Made a big catch last week. Also had a couple of drops. We'll see if maybe they can get him breaking loose on this first and 10. 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Indians needing some points. AJ to throw. Protection good. Morrison there. Touchdown! Madison Central as K.J. Wells delivers a dime to Cody Morrison. We got to check it out once again on the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Replay. Wells dropping back pressure from his blind side. It does not matter. Two defenders in the area and a touchdown pass from K.J. Wells to Cody Morrison. Six on the board for the Indians. Swing the gate right. Extra point coming. Snap is good. Kick is up. Gilbo through the uprights. 10-7. Indians. Some momentum as we go into the locker room. 13 seconds left. We'll get to that when we come back on the other side on WEKY and WBON-TV. So, you want a checking that pays you a high rate on your balance? Yeah, of course you do. Can you tolerate zero monthly maintenance fees and unlimited ATM withdrawal fee refunds every month you qualify? Thought so. That's what Casasa Cash is all about. Tap into our superpower at CG Bank. Visit CG Bank forward slash cash or give us a call today to learn more. 833-83-MY-CGB. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. Contact institution for details. CG Bank is a member FDIC, equal housing lender. Who makes the best meal in Richmond? Nuevo Vallarta. Friendly service, a place that's good for kids and good for groups. Head to Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Nuevo Vallarta is known for warm hospitality, great prices, great food, and the best fajitas in town. 
Start with an appetizer, order a la carte, or choose from their huge menu of Mexican favorites for grown-ups and kids. Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Wells to Morrison, a beauty. And seven on the board now for Madison Central, trailing it by three. Central kicking it away. Johnson will return. Man, he has stood up at the 20 by 20. A nice stop. Alex Winger on the tackle for the Madison Central, uh, Madison Central Special Teams Unit. And an injured Indian on the play as Christian Lawson down for the Indians at the 20. I said that was lost in section number 47. That's a William Thurman, sophomore linebacker, down as the training staff will come out and check on him. Six seconds left to play in the first half. Samantha Burford will talk to Coach Blair here as the teams go into the locker room. And we'll stick around for the Oil Drop Mobile Loop halftime show. How about this, folks? Oil Drop Mobile Loop. They'll come to you. They will make sure to make it as easy on you if you're a, a mom at home with the kids. It's nap time. You need an oil change. There's nowhere to go. If you're a school teacher and you are at work, well, call Oil Drop Mobile Loop. They'll come to you. Come get your keys. Take care of your vehicle. Give you an oil change. Everybody needs an oil change every now and then. And they will come to you and get the job done, making your life easy. And if you are a Madison County School employee or a student, 15% off right now for all Madison County School employees and students, courtesy of Oil Drop Mobile Lube. I'll tell you what, folks, if you're a teacher at Madison Southern, Madison Central, if you're a teacher at Clark Moore's or Cottle Middle School, wherever you are, Tell everybody that's needing an oil change, hey, let's set up a day. They'll come there, take care of all the vehicles that need oil changes right there on the spot and get you uh, back out on the road and ready to go. It's Oil Drop Mobile Loop. Check them out on Facebook, Oil Drop Mobile Loop LLC, or give them a call today. Six seconds remaining here in the first half. And he ends with some momentum after that big touchdown pass from K.J. Wells to Cody Morrison. Craig Costing will take a knee, and that'll wrap up the first half. An entertaining one here in the first half is the Indians. Down by just three, and Samantha Burford down there with Coach Blair. We'll get his first half dots. His down, his team down ten to seven. All right, Coach. That touchdown felt really good, didn't it for you? Tell us about this offensive series. We were up for a big momentum, but then we had a little downer right there. Well, you know, he got hit in the back and it hit in his hip corner, so he's he's going to be all right. The trainers doing a good job with them, um, but no, the play that's that's what we need. We've not had a lot of big plays get excitement going. That's what we need going into halftime. It's been a little while since we went to halftime like this, um, and we're going to feed off that. And, and you know, our confidence in KJ and throwing the game has gone up and up more and more, and and, and, and we're going to show that this second half for sure. All right, Coach, we'll let you go. Big homecoming festivities headed this way. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. All right, we're going to take that commercial break. We want to let Coach get in there and talk to his team, keep that momentum going. We're going to take that three-minute commercial break, and when we come back, we'll have lots of halftime stats right after this message. Did I ever tell you about that time I zipped right past that dang Sasquatch? I don't think so. Yes, sir, I don't know how they ever got away if it wasn't for this brand new side-by-side -side I got at Gateway Seconds. In Mount Sterling? Yes, sir, they set me up with something that left old Sasquatch sneezing in my dust. <laughs> Jimbo! Lord, I hear him coming back now. That ain't no Sasquatch. That's Mama. Get a great deal on Sasquatch eluders today. Gateway Cycles, Mount Sterling. Trucking companies are looking for qualified licensed drivers. Get your CDL training at Exodus Driver Training located on Richmond Road, connected to Renfro Solution in Berea. Take advantage of their flexible training schedule or get your license in just four weeks. Exodus Driver Training is your way out. Out of the cubicle, out of staring at the same four walls, out of that factory job you can't stand. Your way out to an open road of opportunity. Financing available. Visit excdl.com to learn more or like them on Facebook. If it won't go down. Call Mr. Rooter, the 
best in town. What do I do now? Call Mr. Reuter, the best plumber in town. Mr. Reuter is Central Kentucky's affordable and reliable plumber. Right now, get any drain in your home clean for only $89. Call 859-253-CLOG. That's 859-253-CLOG. So if you've got a problem that won't go down, call Mr. Reuter. He's the best plumber in town. He'll clean any drain in your home for only $89. Now I know who to call. Call Mr. Reuter. Bye-bye, poopy. You've heard the name Chenault Vineyards, but what do you know about it? Chenault Vineyards is a place for the community to enjoy. Central Kentucky's premier event and wedding destination. With five event venues, full-service catering, over 13 varieties of wine, live music entertainment, seasonal food options, weekly-themed Wednesday night out and girls' night out, trivia, murder mystery date nights, and free yoga on the point with beautiful views. Everyone can find something to do at Chenault Vineyards. Want to know more? Follow them on Facebook and Instagram or plan your night out at Chenault vineyards.com it's that time of year when we are day and night driving with our kids all over your car never stops at amco transmissions we make sure to keep you rolling we have the latest technology certified technicians and longest warranty to keep your vehicles running strong we specialize in all foreign and domestic transmissions drive train or just general maintenance did you know at amco the average customer saves eighteen hundred dollars in comparison to the dealer and amco has a longer warranty come see us at amco transmission for the best service and the cheapest prices around double a mco hey madison county did you know berea ace hardware is more than just a hardware store berea ace hardware carries the top brands like skag echo steel spartan toro bintelli e-bikes wolf brand scooters trailmaster go-karts and red cat racing rc cars check us out at bereaace.com we sell fun at berea ace this is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. King candidate number one is Ayari Gillis. He is the son of Taisha Jackson. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Taisha Jackson. Queen candidate number two is Miss Riley Hull. She is the daughter of Jason and Crystal Hall. Tonight, she is escorted by her mother, Crystal Hall. Being candidate number two is Mr. Eli Steele. He is the son of Jeremy and Kelly Steele. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Miss Kelly Steele. Queen candidate number three is Miss Anna Lynn Tate. She is the daughter of Petra Clark and Aaron Tate. Tonight, she is escorted by her mother, Petra Clark. <laughs> Queen candidate number three is Mr. Garrett Stearns. He is the son of Gary and Melanie Stearns. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Miss Melanie Stearns. Queen candidate number four is Miss Emma Hull. She is the daughter of Jason and Crystal Hull. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Jason Hull. And then I'll it right. Queen candidate number four is Mr. Caden Taylor. He is the son of Eric Taylor and Stephanie King. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Miss Stephanie King. Queen candidate number five is Miss Kennedy Caldwell. She is the daughter of Ken and Chris Caldwell. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Ken Caldwell. King candidate number five is Mr. Brian Ambrose. Tonight, he is escorted by his most trusted and favorite teacher, Ritzy Rankin. Queen candidate number six is Miss Skylar Whitaker. She is the daughter of Bruce and Marcy Whitaker. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Bruce Whitaker. Queen candidate number six is Mr. Miles Nathaniel Morris. He is the son of Nathan Morris and Ashley Baker. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Miss Ashley Baker.
Queen candidate number seven is Miss Adriana Dameron. She is the daughter of Wendy and John Dameron. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, John Dameron. King candidate number seven is Mr. Jonah Day. He is the son of Michael and Chastity Day. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Chastity Day. Queen candidate number eight is Miss Carly Gibbons. She is the daughter of Jeremy and Stephanie Gibbons. Tonight, she's escorted by her mother, Stephanie Gibbons. King candidate number eight is Mr. Daniel Llewellyn. He is the son of Brian and Leanne Llewellyn. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Dr. Leanne Llewellyn. Queen candidate number nine is Miss Natalie Taylor. She is the daughter of Reagan and Kelly Taylor. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Reagan Taylor. Queen candidate number nine is Mr. Keon Perry. He is the son of Arnold and Kathy Perry. Tonight, he is escorted by mother figure, Kelly Taylor. Queen candidate number 10 is Miss Michaela Skye Hagen. She is the daughter of Nick and Mindy Hagen. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Nicholas Hagen. Queen candidate number 10 is Mr. Colton Taylor. He is the son of Eric Taylor and Stephanie King. Tonight, he is represented by his grandmother, Ruth Mullins. Queen candidate number 11 is Miss Olivia Metcalf. She is the daughter of Kellis and Deanne Metcalf. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Kellis Metcalf. Queen candidate number 11 is Mr. Luke Guile. He is the son of Mike and Rebecca Guile. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Miss Rebecca Guile. Queen candidate number 12 is Miss Lauren Funk. She is the daughter of Trent and Kay Funk. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Trent Funk. Queen candidate number 12 is Mr. Parker Mullins. He is the son of Brian and Farrah Mullins. Tonight, he is escorted by his stepmother, Brianna Mullins. Queen candidate number 13 is Miss Avery Rigney. She is the daughter of Jen Cavallari, Christopher, and Eric Rigney. Tonight, she is escorted by Mr. Shane Christopher. Queen candidate number 13 is Mr. Carter Lamb. He is the son of John and Tracy Lamb. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother on his birthday, Tracy Lamb. Queen candidate number 14 is Miss Leah Crump. She is the great granddaughter of Fred and Jeannie Crump. Tonight, she is escorted by her great grandfather, Mr. Fred Crump. Queen candidate number 14 is Mr. Braden Hibbard. He is the son of Brianna and Brandon Hibbard. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, Brianna Hibbard. Queen candidate number 15 is Miss Emma Metcalf. She is the daughter of Neil and Christy Metcalf. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Mr. Neil Metcalf. And king candidate number 15 is Mr. Keith Stewart. He is the son of Keith and LaVonda Stewart. Tonight, he is escorted by his mother, LaVonda Stewart.
Madison Central would like to thank Village Florists for the beautiful flowers that our candidates are wearing tonight. And now, the members of the 2023 Homecoming Court are fourth runner up, King candidate Elijah Steele. Fourth runner up, Queen candidate is Miss Abigail Morrison. Third runner up, King candidate. Third runner up, Queen candidate, Adriana Damron. Second runner up, King candidate, Luke. Second runner up, Queen candidate, Leah Crump. First runner up, Team Candidate, Garrett Stern. First runner up, Queen Candidate, Skylar Whitaker. And now, the moment you have been waiting for. Madison Central's 2023 homecoming king is a young man that is well-liked by his peers, outgoing and athletic. He loves weightlifting, Marvel, shoes, and the color orange. You can find him on the field Friday nights playing for the Madison Central football team. Please put your hands together for your homecoming king, Ayo! <laughs> Madison Central's 2023 homecoming queen is a young woman that is described as bubbly and confident. She is a member of HOSA Dance Blue and holds leadership role in the pep club. Your queen is probably best known for dancing at sporting events as a member of the Madison Central Dance Team. Help us in congratulating your homecoming queen, Carly Gibbon!
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for all of our homecoming candidates and our homecoming king, Ayari Gillis and Queen Carly Gibbons. Boom. There we go, we're done. <laughs> At Oil Drop Mobile Lube, we know that taking care of your vehicle is a top priority, but we also understand that your time is valuable. That means the experts at Oil Drop Mobile Lube will come service your vehicle wherever it is convenient for you. At work, on the job, maybe just at home. You can get other things done while they take care of your vehicle. Call 833-OIL-DROP. That's 833-645-3767. Like Oil Drop Mobile Lube on Facebook. It's the common thread that ties us together, making life better for everyone. At CVNB, that means better banking, better accounts and lending, better experiences, better schools and better communities. Better, it's what ties us together. CVNB, bank better. marble and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Support local and get your vehicle running at its peak performance with CT Diesel Performance South Exit 97 in Richmond. Chris Thorne and his staff specialize in diesel performance and repair that will service any vehicle, big or small, with oil changes, brakes, tires, alignments, and more. Broke down and need a tow? Well, call CT Diesel at 859-699-8712. Like them on Facebook to enter a weekly drawing for a free oil change. CT Diesel Performance off Exit 97 in Richmond. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, we value our patient relationships, making it our priority to deliver the gentle, compassionate care that you deserve from a dentist. We offer patients single-visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with Cerac. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs, from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment and for more details on lip filler and disport specials, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-985. 0201. We're back here on the Oil Drop Mobile Loop Halftime Show. Glad to have you along with us here, folks, in our A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week and a tight one here at the first half. It's Madison Central down by three as we get ready to start the second half here on WBON-TV. At Oil Drop Mobile Loop, they take the worry and stress out of a routine oil change by coming to you. If you're a Madison County student ploy or a Madison County employee or a student then right now they're offering 15 percent off to all madison county schools employees or students right now 15 percent off of an oil change courtesy of oil drop mobile lube you can like them on facebook at oil drop mobile lube llc or give them a call today and set up a time for them to come out and check out your vehicle samantha burford Along here with Michael Watkins, Gage Hill, our producer, camera guys, Jacob Beck, and Dawson Rule, two of the best here with us tonight. We are so glad to have you here. We are extremely proud and blessed to be able to showcase the homecoming festivities. These kids that won King and Queen tonight and all the runners-up can go back and watch this for years to come and uh, show their kids, their grandkids, everybody down the line. I was never fortunate enough to be homecoming king, kind of a always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Of course you were, Samantha said she was first runner-up. Not surprised, not surprised at that, Samantha. 
I did win Mr. Kentucky, though. Not happening. Not happening. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But uh, we are having some fun here. Some, and I tell you what, Coach Blair talked about it, Samantha. First time this year that they've really had any kind of momentum going into the locker room at halftime. We'll see if they can carry that over because Madison Central will receive the second half kickoff as we get things started here. And it is a fun time to be an Indians fan tonight. All the folks out there taking pictures and uh, the team is focused on getting a big return here and putting another one in the end zone. K.J. Wells to Cody Morrison, about a 35-yard touchdown pass as the uh, clock was ticking down late in the second quarter. It took them just basically two plays to get down the field. I thought they were uh, kind of crazy for not taking a timeout, but that's why Coach, Player, or Coach Blair does what he does, and I'm up here doing what I do. So here we go. It'll be a kick from the 40. Madison Central and Great Crossing locked in a tight one here. India's looking for their first win of the season, trying to carry over some of the momentum. You get the big touchdown, and then you have one of your best players, Yari Gillis, win homecoming king at halftime. Here is Morrison, who caught the big touchdown at the end of the second quarter. He'll return it up to the 33-yard line. So good field position for the Indians as we begin the third quarter. And it was K.J. Wells. And Coach Blair talked about it. We are getting more and more confident in our starting quarterback as we go throughout the season. A.J. getting some experience. That's the big thing. He's learning the position. And now I said the 33. It's actually the nose of the football touching the 34-yard line on the right hash mark. Indians going right to left on your radio dial. If you've got us tuned in on W.E.K.Y. I had to be Throw it out in the flat. Morrison, double play. Ogle and open downfield. I think that's Hayden Kaiser making the catch. Some trickery out of the timeout or out of the halftime break. Check it out on the replay here. It was a screen pass set up to Morrison. It looked like everybody bit, including myself. And Morrison chucks it downfield. Hayden Kaiser hauls it in. And how about that play to start us out here in the second half? First and 10 at the great crossing 30-yard line. Wells to throw. Morrison completed the 20. And Cody down to the 15. Yak yards after catch. Morrison Tacks on four or five of those, and it's another first down back-to-back -back passing plays. One from Morrison to Kaiser, another from Wells to Morrison, and that connection has been fire tonight, as the young folks would say. I think that's still a phrase they use. First down and 10 from the 16. Wells, oh, man, they have got some confidence in K.J. Morrison makes the catch again. Back-to-back -back completions from Wells to Cody Morrison, this time down to the 11. It'll be second down and short for the Madison Central offense. I'm not Mike, but I'm still talking. Yeah, Samantha's talking to me even though she doesn't have her mic on. Said that uh, Wells looks more confident. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's sitting back there in the pocket making some throws. Second down and four. KJ, this time handoff Mathis. Brian up the middle. And positive yardage gained. About a yard, maybe a yard and a half short of the first down marker. And Indians probably right now in four down territory. But see what, if you really want to make this crowd go wild, if it's not a first down here, go for it on fourth down. Pick up that first down. Let's punch one in here inside the 10, inside the red zone for the first time in this game. Third down and a long yard. Mathis did eat back. We're going full house formation. A full back. Two full backs lined up in front of Bryant. He'll take the handoff and he'll fall forward. What looks like a first down. Still a little pushing and shoving after the play. I think he's got it. The far side official has it right on the yard to gain marker. No signal yet. And no, it is fourth down. So fourth and inches. Big play here. Let's see if KJ does a quarterback sneak with it. There is nobody right to the center. Wells going to hand it off. Mathis first down and more. He falls in. No signal. 
And down at the one yard line. I thought KJ might try to sneak it in. They're gonna try to huddle up here and hurry up. Wells up under center. KJ to Mathis. Touchdown Indians. Six more for the Madison Central offense. And that offense is what we've been looking for. What a nice series. Beautiful put together series. Samantha just called it using the run game or using the pass game to now set up the run. KJ Wells. Exactly. I like being right, Samantha. K.J. Wells to Morrison is what got him down the field. Bryant Mathis is what gets him in the end zone. And now Gil Bowe, a chance to put him on top by four. Extra point is good. Madison Central ends the first half with a touchdown. They begin the second half with seven more. And with 8.59 to play in the third quarter. The Indians have a lead. We'll step aside for a quick one-minute commercial break. Central kicking off when we come back on WBON-TV. To some, it's just a boat. But to Jim, it's his escape from meetings, traffic, and the grind of daily life. He may not catch any keepers, but he wouldn't trade his day on the lake for anything in the world. That's why his boat is insured by Kentucky Farm Bureau. But it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. It's Jim's Recharge the Battery Farm Bureau. My Farm Bureau. David Mayo, John Rader, and Chris Hornsby with Kentucky Farm Bureau. Looking for some fun? The Galaxy Bowling Center has a league for you. No matter your skill level, you can come out, make some new friends, and have a great time. Call 624-4444 for details. Or if you're more of a trivia person, Champions Grill has you covered every Tuesday starting at 7 with great prizes and all-you-can-eat wings for only $19.99. Why go anywhere else? The Galaxy Bowling Center and Champions Grill. Your ticket to fun just off I-75, exit 87 in Richmond. Eight fifty-nine to play in the third quarter. Great crossing now behind... As the Madison Central offense has gained some uh, some steam with a late touchdown at the end of the second quarter and an early one here in the third. And with 8.59 to play in the third quarter, it is now a four-point lead for Madison Central. Great crossing. Now back in the wishbone. Handed off to Zach Morris. He'll gain five, maybe six yards. Zach Morris, grew up watching Zach Morris, not that Zach Morris, but the Zach Morris on Saved by the Bell. One of my favorite shows, Gage. Had the old uh, old cell phone where you hold it up to us, you know. Zach always gotten, getting in trouble with the ladies, kind of like Tom Gross does. Tom's not here, probably in bed asleep by now. I can poke phone at him. Second down and four. Hand off up the gut, Morris again, nowhere to go. Third down and short coming up for the Warhawks. At the half, over in Berea, Mercer County, a pretty good team. Knocking uh, down the Madison Southern momentum after a big win last week. It's 21-0 Mercer County over Southern at the half. Third down and short, Warhawks. If they put it back in the air with Clark, they hand it off instead, falling forward and short of the line to gain. One full yard away from a first down was Johnson. And now it's decision time for the Warhawks. And they're going to punt it away. Fourth and a yard, Cody Morrison back at his own 45-yard line as he awaits to return it. High snap, man, a good punt. Morrison again has to fair catch it at the 31-yard line. Indians. Looking good on offense. Back-to-back -back 
touchdown drives led by quarterback K.J. Wells. We'll try to get an injury update on the injured Madison Central player. It was 47 that got injured. That was yeah, William Thurman. He was injured late in the second quarter. If we can get an injury update on him. Pritchard in motion. First play of the drive. Indians at their own 32. Wells, Morrison, man, that has been a go-to connection. Cody breaking tackles up the sideline. Near midfield, pushed out of bounds. Where have you been, K.J. Wells? Man, Wells, Samantha looks like a different quarterback. Maybe he's been in the film room with Parker McKinney, the colonel starting QB. Is now they got to... Let's keep this momentum going. First down. Gain of about 17. Two receivers right. One of the near side for Wells. Forget the run game. We're going to go deep to Morrison. Beats his defender. And just out of his reach. Man, KJ is fired up. He knows he missed one there. Just a little bit too far out in front. Morrison laying out but couldn't catch it. Second down and 10. I'm talking to you like I win at my own. <laughs> Where is John tonight? Working concession. Ah, oh, he's. <laughs> so John had to leave his part time job at Jack Burford Chevrolet to come work concession stand tonight. I like it. Can he bring us some nachos up here? It's like a hot dog. Second down, Wells, handoff Mathis, Bryant, a big hole. Bryant Mathis, first down and more into Warhawks territory. No flags, let's move the sticks. There's one. I just said that. Got to control the temper there. Let's check out the replay there, Gage, if we can, see what kind of happened after that play. A little scuffle. After Bryant Mathis picked up the first down, the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction replay. Mathis got up, and oh, man, a punch thrown. A punch thrown by number 16 of Great Crossing. That's Elijah Fryman, the senior defensive back. And that should be a personal foul penalty and 15 more yards tacked on. Yeah, so tack on 15 more after the play. Fryman maybe should have been ejected, but he'll stay in the game. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. 6.42 to play in the third quarter. Indians on the move once again. Wells, two receivers to the left. Now Pritchard. In motion into the slot on the right side. Ball on the left, hash mark. Hand off, Mathis again. Bryant with a hole once again. And a nice job, Bryant Mathis moving the pile forward. A late flag comes in, however, as the stop occurred around the 15-yard line. And this looks like it's going to be a hold against the Indians. Back them up 10 yards. Right around the line of scrimmage. So first and 10 becomes now first and 20. all that they have to control penalties samantha i can't tell them that samantha's really upset that they threw a flag on us they don't listen to me it is first and 20 from the 31 yard line 635 to play let's keep it the momentum going fellas and the flag comes in again and now central going the wrong way a false start make it first and 25 and Morrison's back in the game. Cody took a little bit of a breather. He was <laughs> catching everything out there. So make it the 36. Ball remains on the left hash. As Wells trots back in. Need to get all the way down to the 11-yard line. First and 25. Wells, pitch out Mathis. Bryant breaks the tackle. Man, there is nowhere for Bryant Mathis to go. Stood up and losing yardage back to the 
eight yard line. Loss of two. And now it's second down and 27 and a timeout, a officials timeout as an injured player down on the field. It's a Warhawks player. And while he is down, it'll give us a great chance to say thank you to many of our great sponsors tonight. And a good chance to take a timeout. Folks, if you're watching, maybe now it's a good time to take a bathroom break as we kind of step aside and hang out here on the broadcast. A special thanks to Mr. Reuter, the local plumbing experts, our official timeout sponsor. Also, a special thanks to our other great sponsors tonight. We appreciate Kentucky Farm Bureau agents Raider Mayo and Hornsby. Citizens Guarantee Bank, Berea Urgent Care, Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, Mercy Health, Markham and Wallace Hospital, Bluegrass Restoration and Construction, CT Diesel Performance, Chenault Vineyards, Amco Transmissions, Lakes Funeral Home, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Nuevo Vallarta, Whitaker Bank, Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance, Ace Hardware, and Galaxy Bowling Center, all those great sponsors here helping us bring you this coverage of the A&W All-American Foods Game of the Week. And as always, our coverage presented by Bishop Small Engine Repair in Richmond. Second down and 27 for the Indians. Need to get to the 11. Wells going to roll out right. Pritchard downfield and almost hauled that one in. Jackson kind of playing hot potato with it. Hey, what Wells again putting the ball where his guy can make a play for it. We'll check it out here on the replay. KJ rolling out right side gets a good little extra added push into it. And I think Pritchard thought the play was dead here. Kind of just up, 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 and he dropped it. So third down and 27. Six minutes, 10 seconds to play. Wells dropping back, throwing incomplete. A little confusion there with his intended receiver. It's fourth down, and I think Central might have to punt it away here and just play some field position. See what Coach Blair likes to do. It's fourth and 27. What is your best 27-yard play? You'll both had a good night punting the football. Well, it's going to stay in the game. Four wide for KJ. Looking, pressure, throwing. And it is picked off at the 44-yard line. Not the worst thing that could happen, but we got to make a stop. Mathis going to bring down the defender that made the interception. So basically a punt. Decent return. It'll go down as an interception for Wells. First down and 10 for great crossings. So the momentum shifts a tad bit. Four Hawks will have it at their own 34-yard line. Folks, if you're watching, Tom Zilla's awake, by the way. He has got us tuned in. He's not in bed yet. First down and 10. Tom Samantha says she hopes you're feeling better. Clark will go up under center. Man in motion is Johnson. Man, the Indians right there immediately on the quarterback running back exchange, making the stop as Kirby, Williams, McElwee, everybody getting in there for the tackle, loss of a yard, second down and 11. Folks, if you've got us tuned in, I've got the feed pulled up right now. I'm going to ask you, if you would like to go to the EKU football game tomorrow, Leave me a comment. The first person that comments, I want to go to the EKU football game tomorrow. I'll have four tickets waiting for you at Will Call. If you're watching, you want to go to the game tomorrow, EKU at home, 6 o'clock kickoff. Just comment and say, first person to do so, I want to go to the EKU football game. Four tickets, courtesy of WBON. Pitch out to Johnson. 
And Johnson going to be tackled. Another nice stop. Defense playing well tonight. That's not changing. Another nice defensive play. A couple of the young guys getting in there on the stop. This time it's Austin Tremblay in on the tackle. Third down. All right, David, you got it. David Rye will have four tickets at Will Call tomorrow at EKU as they will have their second home game of the season. David Rye, winner of four tickets here on the broadcast. Let's get back to action. Third down and 10. And a whistle and a delay of game penalty against Great Crossing. So back them up five yards. It'll be third and 15. So Indians defense looking to get another stop here. Get the ball back. Third down and long. Clark has only thrown one pass tonight, and that one was almost picked off. Kaiser showing blitz. Kaiser coming in and bringing down the quarterback. A quarterback sack by Hayden Kaiser, who is having a heck of a ball game from the linebacker position. Gets back there, reads the quarterback cadence to perfection, and brings him down with a sack. The defense has stepped up tonight. Morrison dropping back to return the punt. Cody, another fair catch, has to dive for it at the 48-yard line. Really good field position for Madison Central as they begin the drive here late in the third quarter in a four-point edge over Great Crossing, 14 to 10, 3.16 to play. Trips right, one receiver left for Wells. They'll go back in the spread formation. Bryant Mathis upended at the 49-yard line, falling forward to midfield after a gain of two. You know, Brath uh, Mathis, Brathis, that's kind of a combination of his name. <laughs> Bryant last year, kind of the, uh, the lightning to what was Brady Hensley's thunder. And, of course, running behind Malachi Wood, a little bit easier to pick up, you know, those big gains. This year... Not as many holes created for the Indians' tailback, but we've seen when he's had some running room, what he's been able to do with it. Morrison, again, on the little curl pattern, able to get it across the 45-yard line of great crossing down to the 44 to bring up third down and two. 2.36 to play. Clock stopped as Morrison stepped on the sideline. Mathis will come back into the game. Third and a pair. Ball on the left hash mark. Wells with a lot of green to the right. Morrison one-on-one -on -one coverage near side. Mathis lined up to the left of K.J. Wells. He'll take the handoff, and there's the hole we were looking for. Mathis, touchdown, Indians. Almost on cue. We talked about what Bryant Mathis could do when he got a hole. Sign, sealed, delivered, six for Madison Central. Check it out on the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Replay. Mathis to the house, 40 yards out. And the Indians now way out in front, make it 20 to 10. And they'll swing the gate for Gilbo. And a offsides against Great Crossing. Man, if you remember, under Mark Sanders a couple of coaches ago, 
They ran the swing and gate formation on these extra points, and it worked almost every single time on the first touchdown. It was almost always an offside on the other team. We're just not used to it. Now it's much more, I think, yeah, more scouted better as well. But it works right there. This is the third time they've done it tonight. And once again, great crossing. Comes across the line of scrimmage. Make it a little bit closer for Gilbo on the extra point. Wells. Oh, they'll pitch it. And Kaiser not going to get into the end zone. A little trickery again as they go for the two-point conversion. Hazen, Hayden Kaiser kept out of the end zone. But still, six more. Mathis a touchdown, second of the night for him. It's a 20-10 lead for Madison Central under three minutes to play on WEKY and WBON-TV in the third quarter. Orthopedic and Sport Physical Therapy will help guide you on your road to recovery. It is our mindset, a spirit driven to excellence, to help people heal faster and better. If you have pain or an injury or you need experts in sports medicine, Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy is your best choice in rehabilitation and you have direct access. In most cases, you do not need a referral to any of our seven locations serving the region. Just give OSPTKY a call. Visit our website at OSPTKY.com to find the location nearest you. Did you know Markham and Wallace Hospital offers speech therapy for both adults and pediatrics? Why travel north when you can get the care you need right here in Irvine? Adult speech therapy focuses on the assessment and treatment of speech, language, thinking, and swallowing problems. Pediatric speech helps children communicate effectively by assisting with the improvement of their verbal and nonverbal language skills. For more info about the speech therapy department, call 606-723-8235 at Mercy Health Markham and Wallace Hospital. We come back to action and Gilbo kicking it off. And another nice kickoff returned from the one by Johnson. Man, he is hit, spinning away, but nowhere to go. And it's Mac Elwe. My goodness, Moose. Bringing down the return man. Back at the 15 yard line. Tell you what, Moose, Mac Elwe, Davion DeBruce, uh, Rudisil, Herbst, all these young guys. We got a, a bright future ahead of us here. Not only at Madison Central, Madison Southern's young, Berea's a young football team. I'm taking some lumps this year, but we still got a lot of football left to play this season as well. Two twenty one remaining in the third quarter. Great crossing, needing some points. There's a fake handoff by Clark. And Clark running up the sideline. Nice run by Clark as he'll get some momentum for the Warhawks. And he'll give a first down signal as he gets about 20 plus yards, excuse me, on the quarterback run. First and 10 for great crossing. Clark doing it himself on the last play. This time hands it off, and it's Morris. Man, Morris, such a hard-nosed downhill runner. Rambling, bumbling, stumbling for four, and bringing up a second and six. See what, how, how good are Jacob Beck and Dawson Rule on the camera? Oh, man, Mac Elwe coming off the field. Moose. Coming off, his dad, Derek, going to go check on him. Got a little bit of a bloody nose. See you what, kid, it's as tough as they come. Even as a sophomore, running backs do not want to meet Moose Mac Elwe in the trenches. Second down for great crossing. They'll check on Moose says Clark going to keep it himself again tackled from behind and there's the flag the horse collar by Reese coach Blair coming over yeah it, it was a horse collar oh, everybody saw that one but Reese trying to plead his case that he was holding on to the jersey hard to really hide that one
That's going to hurt. 15 yards following the play, and now all the way down to the 39-yard line. First and 10. One oh six remaining in the third quarter. Indians trying to keep the Warhawks out of the end zone. Clark going in to the shotgun for the first time tonight. Hand off Johnson and my man, a, what a tackle by Williams. Kendrick just hopping up on him and pulling him down. Gain of a yard, second and nine. 34 seconds left. Probably time to get at least one more playoff, if not two. Back to the shotgun they go with Clark with two receivers each way. Spread formation. Tell back Johnson behind him. He will throw. Clark looking. Time now taking off. Dancing around in the backfield. Going deep. And that pass is incomplete through the hands of Jalen Beard. Second time tonight at a Madison Central defender has had an easy interception fall through their hands. Could have been a big momentum shift there. Instead, Great Crossing has a second chance and a third down and eight coming up. A great question. Dean Vinsel asking why we aren't using the, uh, the, the, uh, the lights tonight, the light show after the touchdowns. Maybe it's bad luck. That's why we haven't been scoring a bunch of them. Hand off. Man, immediately brought down. Tavion Kirby on the stop. Johnson took the handoff and went down. Fourth down coming up now for Great Crossing. Dean, I'll try to get you an answer on that question. When we come back, fourth quarter on the other side, Madison Central looking to hold on for that first W of the year. When we come back, we'll see if we can get it 12 minutes away on WEKY and WBON TV. For over 40 years, Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory in Berea have been helping families through the hardest times in their lives. With traditional burial planning to cremation, the folks at Lakes can help you honor your loved ones with final arrangements. Lakes can also help pre-plan now. Let your family members know what you want and help ease their burden. Visit lakesfuneralhome.com to learn how easy it can be to pre-plan. Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory, the only on-site crematory in Madison County. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets, cuckoo crusties. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Jerry Goebel in Richmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at the action here with Madison Central and a great crossing going into the fourth quarter. Warhawks going for it. Clark, he's got a man open. Over the middle, and he is going to go down. Kirby and Green in the backfield. Defense getting pressure and forcing another sack and a turnover on downs. First down and 10, Madison Central. Kirby going to need some help getting off the field. That young man has had a great game as well. He and Green and Williams and Kaiser, the defense, coming up big today. First down and 10. Wells going to throw on first down. Pritchard makes the catch. He pays for it. Oh, a targeting flag comes in as Pritchard 
hauled in an absolute beautiful pass from K.J. Wells. Check this one out, folks. Wells with time, throwing, Pritchard holding on, and boom! Takes the hit stick. A targeting flag is thrown. First of all, the throw. K.J. Wells, my man. What a ball game for Wells. We saw this last week. Wells putting the ball in a place where only his receivers can make a catch. The big difference tonight, those guys are making those catches. What a game for K.J. Wells. Now let's talk about that catch. Pritchard, knowing he's going to get hit, two defenders in the area, does not get phased, holds on, and Madison Central, a chance to put this game away, first down and goal at the 10-yard line. Wells with two receivers to the right, one to the far side. Mathis dancing around. Six more for Bryant Mathis. The offense clicking. And Bryant Mathis for the third time tonight into the end zone. Touchdown, Indians. Madison Central 26, great crossing 10 with 11 minutes and 30 seconds left to play in Richmond. Wells will hold for Gilbo to try to make this a 17 point lead. Kick is up, kick is good. Indians finally putting it all together. Defense, offense, and even special teams tonight. Extra special on homecoming. Take a one-minute commercial break and come back. Central will kick it away on WEKY and WBON-TV. For years, Richmond residents have been searching for a heating and air company that can do it all. That search is now over. Don't let the name fool you. Fayette Heating and Air serves all over Central Kentucky for both commercial and residential customers. With Fayette Heating and Air, they promise that no matter the issue, no matter the time, you can expect award-winning heating repairs the first time, every time. Visit FayetteHeating.com to learn about special financing and how to sign up for the Comfy Club. With Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solution. Whitaker Bank in Madison County is your local bank for convenience. With more branches than literally any other bank in Madison County, why go anywhere else? Whitaker Bank is known for their friendly customer service and easy access drive throughs Whitaker Bank, your home for local, friendly, family, banking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Just over 11 minutes remaining and following a Bryant Mathis six, a 10 yard touchdown run. Madison Central now on top 27 to 10. Welcome back into our live coverage of high school sports on WBON TV and our A&W All American Foods Game of the Week presented by Bishop Small Engine Repair. He'll bow another one through the end zone. Hayden having a great game kicking not only on the touchbacks but today. Perfect on the extra points. Three of three, and of course they had the one where they faked it, went for two, didn't get it, but so a 17-point lead and great crossing a team that doesn't like to throw the football, basically forced to drop back and throw down by three scores. Clark will do just that. On first down, he's got a man, gain of nine. It'll be second down and one. So what's next for Madison Central? The Indians, after a win tonight, should they hold on, will travel to Pulaski County next week. Then we go into district play. And I'll tell you what, after what I've seen from K.J. Wells the last two weeks, knowing that we're going to get some of these defenders back, and Steele and Mullins, Clark throws, picked off! Intercepted! And I think that's Tremblay who... Picked off Clark at the 30-yard line. A flag came in late. I'll get back to the point I was trying to make in a moment. Check out the replay here. Clark, again, being pressured. I'll tell you what, only three guys getting pressure is huge for the defense. And 
Tremblay, you would have thought he was playing tight end for Great Crossing with the way that Clark hit him with that pass. Now the officials discussing the penalty. The point I was trying to make with the way K.J. Wells has thrown the football the last two weeks, finally looking like he is ready to take that next step as the quarterback of this team. And some of the balls we've seen to Morrison, that one to Pritchard. Hey, you what? Don't count out my guys just yet. Madison Central looking as if they are finally starting to put it all together. First down and 10. Wells back in the shotgun. Going to throw again. And that one batted down and a flag comes in. And I think this is going to be a hold or a chop block. Could be against Madison Central either way. That has been the only downfall tonight. I think that's the third time that Wells has had a ball batted down by an interior lineman on the defensive side. Back them up to the 40-yard line. Well, it's going to throw on... Long, uh, first and long, and Morrison battling for it, incomplete. Dropped it in the end zone. A good battle there between Morrison and the defender, number 84 from Great Crossing. Finally able to knock it loose, and that's Malachi McGuffey in there defending against the top target for K.J. Wells tonight, Cody Morrison. Second down and 20. Two receivers to the right side. Tied in to the right as well. Four wells. DeBruce in the backfield. Davion takes the handoff. And DeBruce able to pick up about nine yards. But a flag comes in. The two flags on the play. And we might be heading to a second down and 30 situation here. Yep, going backwards. Avion Kirby going to run in and coming off for the Madison Central offensive lineman. Jeff Bishop will head on over to the sideline. We'll back this one all the way up to the 48. We need the 20 for a first down. Second and 28 for Madison Central. 10-29 left to play in the fourth quarter. 27-10 lead. Wells, now, what do you do here? Throw it out in the flat. Ball batted down once again. But it's third down and long, and at this point, your coach Mattingly, what do you do here? I don't know what kind of play you got, but... 10-25 left to play in the fourth quarter and still plenty of time left in this game for Great Crossing to come back. But you don't want to aid in that. Maybe turn the ball over here and give them better field position as they try to mount a comeback here late in the game. Ogle, the tight end over on the left side. So basically, okay, timeout. Coach Mattingly wants to step out on here to the field and make sure his guys are ready for this big third down play. Third down and a mile when we come back. Step aside for one minute. W-E-K-Y, W-B-O-N TV. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop's Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Esco County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County where we are today. 
With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see ya. Hi there, I'm Alan Feldhaus Jr., head basketball coach at Madison Central High School. Here at MCHS, we have built a winning team. I'd like to tell you about another local winning team, family owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. They specialize in roofing, general construction, and home maintenance services. Just like on the court, you need a team that will work together to get the job done. And that's exactly what BRC does. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. Roll Tribe. It's out Davion to Bruce, and he's upended at the 35-yard line. Make it the 36. So good positive momentum on that third down play and a much more manageable now fourth down for Madison Central. If they do elect to go forward, and it does appear as if they are, from the 36-yard line, needing the 20, fourth and 16. A.J. Wells talking to the offensive coordinator, Coach Mattingly giving in the play call to Wells. We've seen some trickeration tonight. We've seen some beautiful passes from Wells to Morrison, to Pritchard, to KJ. Might need one more to try to really put a bow on this game for Madison Central. Fourth and 16. Here's the snap. Wells going deep. Morrison incomplete, almost picked off in the end zone. Not a bad play there. Great crossing will take over at their own 36-yard line. Wells now talking to Mattingly as he tries to maybe lay it out for him a little bit more. A little teaching moment there for the Indians offensive coordinator. So no harm, no foul. Great crossing takes over. 9.25 left here in the fourth quarter. So we do have an update on Thurman from Madison Central. It is a hip injury he suffered there late in that second quarter. Clark with it for the Warhawks. Hand off up the middle to Johnson, and he'll get hit hard, brought back after a gain of two, second down and eight. Second and eight. Clark over the middle. Caught and breaking some tackles. I believe that's Morris that gets it down to the Madison Central 45 yard line. It was not Morris. It was number 22, Hunter Moody. In the mood of a first down there as he moves the sticks in the Indians' territory. Clark looking good on that pass. First and 10. Spread formation, two receivers each way. They'll give it to Johnson up the gut. Breaking tackles himself. Gain seven, second and three, and great crossing starting to build some momentum on this drive. Still plenty of time left as we near the eight-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Clark again throwing. Looking. Dancing around in the backfield. Clark has got a man wide open. Drops it off to Johnson, who was... Coming out of the backfield, still on his feet, and Johnson in to a first and goal as two flags come in late. Personal foul against the Indians. So a first and goal becomes even closer now. Half the distance to the goal should put this thing inside the five-yard line. Quickly, the Warhawks moving it down the field. It's Michael Pettigrew. Now in the backfield with Clark. 8.18 to play in the fourth. And they'll turn the, Clark, the clock here for Clark as he'll throw on first and go. 
fade pattern and the pass incomplete. Good coverage there by Madison Central's Jalen Beard in there to deflect that pass away. Second down and four. Eight oh nine left. Here's Clark going back into the shotgun on second and goal. Looking over the middle. Chased out of there by Green. Clark trying to find the edge. He's got it, and he's in for six. Touchdown, great crossing. Clark from one side of the field all the way over to the near side. Inside the pylon. Touchdown, great crossing. And an extra point away from cutting this down to a 10-point Indians advantage. Extra point, good, and great crossing. Down 27-17. We'll be right back on WEKY and WBON-TV. Whether you're looking for dependability in the game or on the road, Madison County is where you'll find it. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond has the trucks you can depend on and a winning tradition, just like our great local sports teams. Come see us at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond or check us out at jackburford.com to see our dependable trucks and become a part of the winning tradition. So, you want a checking that pays you a high rate on your balance? Yeah, of course you do. Can you tolerate zero monthly maintenance fees and unlimited ATM withdrawal fee refunds every month you qualify? Thought so. That's what Casasa Cash is all about. Tap into our superpower at CG Bank. Visit CG Bank forward slash cash or give us a call today to learn more. 833-83-MY-CGB. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. Contact institution for details. CG Bank is a member FDIC, equal housing lender. After that touchdown, great crossing, down by just 10. Here comes the kickoff, onside, and not even close to 10 yards. Caught by an Great crossing defender, but it didn't go 10 yards, so Central will take over. Great field position at the, I believe, at their 40-yard line. First down and 10. Central from the 48. Handoff goes to Mathis and Bryant down to the 44 yard line. Second down, and about six for Wells and the Indians offense. Going back to the ground with Mathis, keeping it on the ground, keeping the sticks moving. First down for Madison Central, and let's keep that clock moving as well. By the time we take another snap, should be under seven minutes to play here in the first half, or in the fourth quarter, excuse me. Wells with DeBruce now in the backfield. Sean Kite 
at wide receiver near side. Davion running right into his own teammate. His big offensive lineman trying to block for him. Got in the way, no hole, and a second down and 10. Clock ticking down, 6-10 to play. DeBruce gets the handoff again. Davion, nice little hole provided, down to the 30. It'll be second down and four for the Indians. Third down and short. Wells almost draws the defense off sides. And a good job with the penetration by the great crossing defense. Getting in the backfield, Logan Clayton making the stop. And it's fourth down, and the Warhawks are going to call a timeout and stop the clock here with 5.14 left to play. Some clock management by the Warhawks. Indians might go for it here. We'll step aside quickly and come right back on WEKY and WBON-TV. Who makes the best meal in Richmond? Nuevo Vallarta. Friendly service, a place that's good for kids and good for groups. Head to Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Nuevo Vallarta is known for warm hospitality, great prices, great food, and the best fajitas in town. Start with an appetizer, order a la carte, or choose from their huge menu of Mexican favorites for grown-ups and kids. Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Big fourth down play. For Madison Central. Trips left, one receiver right for Morrison. Going deep, and it's going to be a pass interference. Wells looking at his wide receiver. And Morrison drawing the flag on the defender. Still waiting on the official call. There it comes. First down, Madison Central. We can take off some more time here. First down at the 18-yard line. Sure, we're going to keep this on the ground. Davion to Bruce back in the game to the left side of Wells. Trips left, one receiver right again. To Bruce, a big hole on the far side. Tried to cut it back and again ran into a teammate. This time it was Cowper. That was trying to lead the way on that far side, and Davion just ran into it. Gets it to the 15 yard line, second down and six. Clock ticking under five minutes to play, and that big pass interference on the deep ball from Wells to Morrison might be the play that earned a victory for Madison Central tonight. They'll flip field or flip the side of the field with trips now on the right side to Bruce. It immediately in the backfield and brought down. Nice tackle made. That's Morris on the stop. Third down and six. The Indians take this next snap under four minutes. We'll be on the clock. 
and it might be decision time if they don't pick up a first down. Are we in field goal range for Gilbo? Two receivers to the near side, tied in left. They'll give it to Davion. Up the middle he goes, still on his feet. Tried to kind of tiptoe his way away, and a timeout great crossing as they'll stop the clock on fourth down. And let's see what the Indians do here. Decision time for Coach Blair and Coach Mattingly. They're looking back to the sidelines as if we're going to see a field goal, and here comes Peyton Gilbo. A fourth down decision. Looked as if Gilboa was going to come out onto the field for the field goal attempt. And he will from the left hatch. Mattingly is the play call. Wells will hold. Good snap, 30-yard field goal is going to make its way through the uprights central on top by 13, 30 to 17 with 319 left here in the ball game. We'll step aside and come back. Indians trying to hold on for that first victory of the year on WEKY and WBON TV. I tell you about the time I zipped right past that dang Sasquatch. I don't think so. Yes, sir. I don't know how they ever got away if it wasn't for this brand new side by side I got at Gateway Sackles. In Mount Sterling? Yes, sir. They set me up with something that left old Sasquatch sneezing in my dust. <laughs> Jimbo! Lord, I hear him coming back now. That ain't no Sasquatch. That's Mama. Get a great deal on Sasquatch eluders today. Gateway Cycles, Mount Sterling. Trucking companies are looking for qualified licensed drivers. Get your CDL training at Exodus Driver Training located on Richmond Road, connected to Renfro Solution in Berea. Take advantage of their flexible training schedule or get your license in just four weeks. Exodus Driver Training is your way out. Out of the cubicle, out of staring at the same four walls, out of that factory job you can't stand. Your way out to an open road of opportunity. Financing available. Visit excdl.com to learn more or like them on Facebook. Indians kicking off. It's Gilbo kicking it to Johnson. He'll return from the five. Running up and right into a, another nice tackle by an Indian special teamer. It's for the second time tonight. A nice stop by Alex Winger on special teams. And the Indians on top, 30 to 17. Great crossing will come out with 310 left to play. Needing two scores. Got to move the ball up the field quickly. Try to give themselves a chance to get an onside kick once again. Everything that we talked about in the pregame basically came true tonight for Madison Central. We talked about the defense needing to play well, make some big plays. Despite really no turnovers, they've done it well. They did have the one interception by Trim Blay. But they've made some big stops and a nice uh, job tonight of pressuring the quarterback. Here's a deep ball, and it's knocked loose. Another nice defensive play by Jalen Beard. Clark laying one out to a wide receiver. It falls incomplete. Second down and 10 coming up. But one of the, our keys to the game tonight, our Jack Burford Chevrolet keys to the game, where the defense making some big plays, some momentum shifting plays. They've done that. And then it was getting off to a good start. Now, we did fall down 10 to nothing. But for the first quarter, it was a scoreless game back and forth. Defense played well. And finally, the offense got into a rhythm there in the second quarter. 
And we have not looked back ever since. Nice stop once again by Williams. It'll be third down for Great Crossing with 2.50 to play in the fourth. Two receivers each way. Here's the snap. Taking off, looking, Clark dancing around. He'll trot out of bounds on the far sideline. And it'll be fourth down for the Warhawks. Ray Crossing has to go for it here to get themselves a shot. 2.29 left to play. Timeout. Madison Central on top, 30 to 17. We'll keep it right here. Good chance once again for you to take a Batteries Unlimited timeout, our timeout sponsor tonight. A great time to pick you a seat. Pull up the phone and check out the score, maybe from some of the other games tonight. And again, that's courtesy of Mr. Reuter, our local plumbing experts and official timeout sponsor. Go oh, fourth down, Clark. Stepping up again, pressured, drops it off, incomplete, and Madison Central will officially hold on for their first win of the season. Big win for Coach Blair and this offense, building some momentum, some momentum, excuse me. And it's first down. Indians. Samantha Burford going to talk to Coach William Blair following the game. Get his thoughts on an impressive win. And how about the impressive play of his senior quarterback? Hand off to Bruce. He'll run near side. I haven't seen Matt this much here on the last couple of drives. Excuse me. I was trying to. See if I could see him down the sideline. Maybe just trying to keep him fresh for next week. A three-touchdown performance for Bryant. we got to make a decision on who our CT diesel performance of the game is going to be. Second and eight. Minute 45 left to play. We will have to at least get one first down to be able to milk the clock. De Bruce up the gut. Davion might have it. Going to be close to that first down we were just talking about. They'll stop the clock for the moment. And do we have a signal? No sign yet. Move the sticks. First down, Indians. And that will salt this one away. Congratulations to K.J. Wells. He'll earn the first win of his career as the starting quarterback at Madison Central. Coach William Blair, first year as the head coach. He'll earn his first victory as the head coach. And the Indians will now look to build on this win as they go on the road to another tough game next week at Pulaski County. Whistles, flag, and a delay of game penalty. That'll be one thing that Coach Blair can point out in the post-game comments.
Victory formation. And victory is sweet. On homecoming night, when one of their star players, Iari Gillis, won homecoming king, Madison Central will wrap up their first victory of the season. And now we head down the stretch, the second half of the year. At Pulaski County, and then the big district games before an off week heading into the postseason. It was 0-5 for the first time since 0-9. But a win tonight will end the losing for Madison Central. And Samantha Burford will try to grab Coach Blair here in just a moment. Indians celebrate a victory. And they're going to try to give Coach Blair an, a Gatorade bath, I think. There he comes. He was expecting it. <laughs> Tell you what, you can handle that now if you want to. You don't want that here in about a month or so when we're heading into late October and November when that temperature starts to slow down. Samantha now going to try to make her way over to Coach Blair. First Gatorade bath on the new field. And how about this? First uh, win on the new field as well, the new turf here at Madison Central. Samantha, Coach Blair walking off by himself if you want to grab him real quick. Uh, turn the Jets on, Burford. Samantha trying to track him down. Watch out for the ice. Thirty to seventeen, and a victory for Madison Central. She missed her chance, I think. <laughs> Got to go all the way over. I think our uh, CT Diesel performance of the game might be an easy one as well. We'll see if Samantha and Coach Blair are ready. Samantha, you got him, and uh, we'll send it down to Samantha Burf. All right, Coach, what a big first win for you right here on homecoming night. I think everything for me went pretty fabulous. Well, these, <laughs> yeah, these kids, for the last four years, you got to realize they've went through COVID, two, head, two other head coaches, a lot of off-season turmoil, and a lot of people ran off when things were getting tough. They knew that this was going to be a tough year. We were going to have a tough schedule. There's some people that didn't want to deal with toughness. And I'm going to tell you right now, there ain't a one of those kids down there that don't want this more than me. I love these kids. I love this town. I love this school. And to take them and to win this game when everything was stacked against them, that's awesome. That's what these kids work hard for. And that's, that's why I do it. It, don't, it ain't about the wins. It's about seeing guys go through hard times and staying together and trusting each other. And I tell you what, other than the ones that got hurt, the same 60 kids that came out at Johnson Central have stuck around through those five losses and stuck here. You've done it, your first win under your belt. I want to say, you know, you've had a lot of quarterback injuries, but K.J. Wells has been yeah. your man tonight. You know, K.J., he, he, he knows what he can do, and we know what he can do, and he did it. He did it. He Absolutely. Did. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, I'm going to get you a Samantha, big Samantha, tell him I hope he stays warm. No, the Gatorade bag. Hey, stay warm with all that Gatorade on you, too. <laughs> All right. All right, Michael, back to you. That was fun. Yeah, thanks, Samantha. Appreciate it. I'll tell you what, step aside for a quick commercial break. We'll come back here for the Chenault Vineyards postgame show, wrap things up. We'll crown our CT Diesel performance of the game and look at the drive of the game, courtesy of Exodus Driver Training. All that when we come back on WEKY and WBON-TV. If it won't go down. Call Mr. Rooter, the best in town. What do I do now? Call Mr. Rooter, the best plumber in town. Mr. Rooter is Central Kentucky's affordable and reliable plumber. Right now, get any drain in your home clean for only $89. Call 859-253-CLOG. That's 859-253-CLOG. So if you've got a problem that won't go down, call Mr. Rooter. He's the best plumber in town. He'll clean any drain in your home for only $89. Now I know who to call. Call Mr. Rooter. Bye-bye, poopy. 
You've heard the name Chenault Vineyards, but what do you know about it? Chenault Vineyards is a place for the community to enjoy. Central Kentucky's premier event and wedding destination. With five event venues, full-service catering, over 13 varieties of wine, live music entertainment, seasonal food options, weekly-themed Wednesday night out and girls' night out, trivia, murder mystery date nights, and free yoga on the point with beautiful views. Everyone can find something to do at Chenault Vineyards. Want to know more? Follow them on Facebook and Instagram or plan your night out at Chenault vineyards.com it's that time of year when we are day and night driving with our kids all over your car never stops at amco transmissions we make sure to keep you rolling we have the latest technology certified technicians and longest warranty to keep your vehicles running strong we specialize in all foreign and domestic transmissions drive train or just general maintenance did you know at amco the average customer saves eighteen hundred dollars in comparison to the dealer and amco has a longer warranty come see us at amco transmission for the best service and the cheapest prices around double a mco hey madison county did you know berea ace hardware is more than just a hardware store berea ace hardware carries the top brands like skag echo steel spartan toro bentelli e-bikes wolf brand scooters trailmaster go-karts and red cat racing rc cars check us out at bereaace.com we sell fun at berea ace this is the place with the helpful hardware folks. At Oil Drop Mobile Lube, we know that taking care of your vehicle is a top priority, but we also understand that your time is valuable. That means the experts at Oil Drop Mobile Lube will come service your vehicle wherever it is convenient for you. At work, on the job, maybe just at home. You can get other things done while they take care of your vehicle. Call 833-OIL-DROP. That's 833-645-3767. Like Oil Drop Mobile Lube on Facebook. It's the common thread that ties us together, making life better for everyone. At CVNB, that means better banking, better accounts and lending, better experiences, Better schools and better communities. Better. It's what ties us together. CVNB. Bank better. Into the broadcast here on WBON TV. Michael Watkins here to wrap things up with you on the Chenault Vineyards post game show. Chenault Vineyards has become the go to destination for families and friends to enjoy fun and entertainment in a relaxing atmosphere. See why so many people spend their weekends at Chenault Vineyards by visiting ChenaultVineyards.com. Madison Central losing 30 to 7 or winning 30 to 17 here tonight and getting that first win of the season in really incredible fashion, a full game all three phases, offense, defense, special teams, putting it all together tonight and excellent execution in this game as well on both sides of the field. Everybody doing their their job tonight, I would say, if you're Madison Central. We'll look at the drive of the game, courtesy of Exodus Driver Training. Folks, are you tired of being in that, that factory job? You're looking for maybe some freedom, and that's what Exodus Driver Training can do for you. Get your commercials driver's license right here in Madison County at Exodus Driver Training in Berea. Earn your license in as little as four weeks or take advantage of their flexible training schedule. You can like them on Facebook to get started and visit excdl.com to learn more. And the drive of the game to me, at the end of the first half, down 10 to nothing, K.J. Wells, after I thought they should have called a timeout, maybe preserved some clock. Instead, a two-play drive where Wells found Pritchard on a big play to set up a very next play, a touchdown pass of 35 yards from Wells to Cody Morrison. That two-play drive set up the momentum for this team to go into the locker room. The very next drive, they receive the second-half kickoff. They go down and score again, never looked back, and they go on to win 30-17. to That is the drive of the game brought to you by Exodus Driver Training. Now time to crown our CT Diesel Performance. Folks, if you want your vehicle to perform like Bryant Mathis did tonight, make sure to take it to CT Diesel Performance. Located off exit 97 in Richmond, Chris Thorne and his staff service all vehicles, big or small. Like them on Facebook and learn more at CT Diesel. And uh, I'll tell you what, Bryant Mathis, three touchdowns today. And there was one play, a 40, I think it was like a 44-yard touchdown where the defense – uh, 
tried to bring him down. He broke a couple of tackles, snuck away from a couple of defenders, and Bryant Mathis played a great game tonight, uh, made a couple of nice catches, and even played some good defense as well. And he earns our CT Diesel performance, performance of the game. Tell you what, it takes a uh, pretty big performance to make myself, especially when I'm by myself, look and sound good. And that's exactly what Gage Hill, Dawson Rule, and Jacob Beck all did tonight. Uh, appreciate the staff up here. Samantha Burford doing her job down on the sideline, talking to Coach Blair a couple of times tonight. That guy was all smiles as he is happy to bring home a victory for his program, the first of his career at this school and of the season. Madison Central 30, Great Crossing 17, Indians win back on the road next week at Pulaski County. We will wrap things up here in Richmond. Our producer on the radio side, Jaden Johnson. I'm Michael Watkins, folks. We'll see you next time on WBON-TV.